Oh, hi, Harry. And how have you been, Harry? Have you got that cold yet? Oh, I'm worried about that one. My mum has it as well. <coughs> My symptoms are not too bad. It's just very mild. That's so. Not too bad, just running a tiny bit of a cold. You could probably hear it in my voice. And how have you been, Harry? Should be able to measure from here. Oh, there is the weather kicking in. I should be able to measure from here. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure about maybe the four entrances. I'm tempted, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. I'll work that one out later. Ah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just annoying, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, I forgot to, to add an extra bed, so I have to go back and do that sometime. Uh, there it is there. Oh, look what I've called it. I sh... That's so stupid. I actually changed that. Ah, it's not that one. One moment now. Yeah, there it is. Oh my. Okay, I'm in trouble. You've got to be joking me. I think it's gone. I think it has. Ah, oh, here it is. There. Yeah. It's mixed in with the other saves. It's got all over the place. I, I, I'll I have to get that uploaded. Because it's getting dicey now with uh, Microsoft and holding serves, saves, um, large saves, long time. Right. I think it happens when you've got so many profiles. They start to blend in a bit. Once I load it from here, it should go back into its own slot again. Yeah, I I wouldn't really be surprised with with, with um, Microsoft. Oh, hi, Bertrand. And how have you been? Yeah, I put a good bit of work on this guy. I'm starting to think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. Anybody need any help with anything?
Oh, the reason I'm doing this is because of the memory glitch here. See the memory glitch here in a moment. I'm in here, not out there. And then security in here. And when I come back, I've got to make sure I'm going to build mode like this. The SOE has been playing up a little bit as well. Just a tiny bit, yeah. Well, usually I'm about 120, I'm about 10 minutes. Yeah, I found it hard to to get around. My, um, my right foot, it's a little swollen. So, yeah, I was hobbling a bit, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. And of course our holding cells. So how high the vault numbers go. Sent prisoners. On that one. Let's do kind of clean up. A little bit down here as well. And this is just the original piece. Oh, I had one, would you believe, taken out about two, about two years ago. Yeah. Mm. Didn't even know I had it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But mm, the foot looks kind of bad. I think it might eventually need an operation or something. Something got to do with my blood flow, I would say. Yeah. Uh, my doctor was telling me I might have to wear, you know, one of those really, really old people, kind of elasticated bandages. Mm. Well, that's gonna kill my modeling career. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's all I need. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. It will be very, very sore. It'll take ages for that to heal. heal from. But it's well worth it. Yeah, easier to deal with it. Horrible. Toothache is the worst. It is. Oh, hi, Young. And how have you been? I hope you've been well. Today in the appointment, he's going to have been scared. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him, uh, Harry, <laughs> to be honest. I'd be right there with your dad. I'm not the best in a dentist either. I am kind of scared. Oh, hi, Jill. And how have you been, Jill? I was just showing the guys um, the job I did on the vault, Jill. <laughs> we fixed up um, Vault 88. I think it was, yeah. Ah, oh, that's good to hear, yeah. But you've built it at the Vault Hill, haven't you? You know, Vault 88, that DLC piece. So that's this one, guys. No. I built a tiny piece on the vac section and of course I'm being sarcastic. I never build small. So this is our section here. You know after the fix up on the front. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> so here I've gone with well all of these cryopads. Pods, pads, pods, potatoes, potatoes. And these go all around. We've got four shops here. We've got a bookstore. Right here. I'm starting to think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. 
Yeah, I put a lot of bit of glitching time into this, Joe. Oh, there's shops upstairs. Oh, there's a big promenade and park as well. Shops upstairs, each one took about six hours. Nasty little buggers. The Raiders thought we were easy pickings. We showed them different. We have wares. We taught those Raiders a lesson. We'll teach them again if they come back. Now, this one here, that's the stairs going up to the next level. And so is that one. And here's our kiosk. Here, the shops are kind of designed the same. Huh? Yes, tobacco and alcohol. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Joe. This one was extremely grindy. You know, once we had everything up. You see this? You know that quest where we had to kill all those ghouls? You know that glowing one? Idiot left that stain and then we couldn't get rid of. So now we have this guy in here. Cleaning up that junk. <laughs> and here are our robots and they're controlling the, the cryopods. Pods. Maintenance crew. And we have a shop here, and it's chems. It's our chem shop. And that's you our chem shop. We cut those raiders to pieces. I doubt they'll be back. Okay, just putting the pieces on that one. Now. We've got our bedrooms in here. I think you'll like the clinic and the classroom. Oh, I did um, a kind of vault tree, or fallout tree classroom. Well, this is our bedroom. Yeah, let me just... There. This is our bedroom. I usually don't do bedrooms like this, but it kind of kind of fits in with the vault feel, I think. So our little bedroom. Now, the theme of this settlement is a large trader shopping complex. So, but right in the center, I place this here, and this is our park. And you can see up here where I've got all my shops and clinics and barber and all of that stuff. Starting to think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. So this is our little park in the center. Ah. How sweet. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the 50s music in the back. No problem, uh, watch on. I hope you feel better soon. Horrible toothache, isn't it, Joe? And we'll get more. See those guys in a moment. But this is our park. Yes. Yes. Now let's make our way up to that park or that uh, promenade. Now, two of these, each are identical, and they go right up to the next row, but between the stairways. I've managed to plop our overseer. And we put Veronica here. So strange having people Veronica about. Barstow. Yeah, I think that's her name. Oh, I kept Clem as well. I met Clem, um, my head chef in uh, Slocum Joe's. <laughs> I know, wise decision. So, promenade. And this is our promenade. This took a decent bit of work. Oh, thank you, Joe. In here we have our barber. The Raiders thought we were easy pickings, but we showed them different.
and then survivors. We only have our armor still. Hi, how are you? That's our armor stall. Now, this is actually our, our bathroom in here. We've got these Boston bugle signs and you know, obviously we've got them laid out on the table as well. So, bathroom is here. I use the overseer window in this and in the, re the coffee shop as a kind of counter. I think it was ideal. Um, pretty much the same on this side. You know, the same kind of layout. So that is our... bathrooms. Oh, hi, Court. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And you? I hope you've been well. Oh, my pleasure. Any time. Any time, Court. Now I'll just grab some soda. Yeah, cold is kind of getting me down a bit, so I'm always, uh, always dehydrated. Now, just one moment. Oh, I needed that. Right. No. That's better. So, weapons here. So you can see the shops have, you know, the same layout except for the, the pieces. Well, it takes ages to put these together. This is about Twelve or fourteen pieces alone in that. On the the counter. Now this is our clinic. The clinic is not too bad. Our clinic. I use the electrical um Conduits for that one. We're lucky enough to get them to snap. And our dock, of course. Come on, do your animation. There you go. Yeah. And that's it. That is. Oh, yeah, no, let me see. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That's our clinic. So, moving on. <laughs> this is our uh, Robco robot shop here. And of course, we dressed our vendor as the mechanist. Yeah. He just loves to look out that window for some reason. So this is our little robot shop. Oh, it must be 8 p.m. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. Yeah, okay. They're all going off duty. I think it's time for us to wait till morning. Yeah. Might take a while for this to count down, Jill. There's a lot in here. Oh, well, thank you, Jill. That could take a while for it to count down. There's always been a, a tiny bit of a script issue here for me, even on small bells. I'll have to come back here and sort that properly. 
see what I mean? I'll tell you what I could do if I can get this out of here because it could take a few minutes to get this out uh, hopefully when it comes out I'll reload it'll be easier yeah the garden was a nice touch it needed something different caught yeah every vault build you see is it's got the large open space uh, with t a stairway or two or you know maybe just a ton of rooms and a lot of corridors see what I mean about this one chord it's stable enough except for this you know I did a good job working around the mem the the memory leaks. Hmm. See, I need to get in here for about another 10, 15, 20 minutes. There it is. See that? See the drop down? That classic drop down. Now, our best. Ow! Oh. Stupid remote control. We're better off until I get this done properly. It's just to reload from here, and then we'll s uh, we'll go to the next ones. Here we go. I'm starting to think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. You should. I might start my tour from outside. Raiders. That might help this out a bit. Pieces. See, 226. It's, it's, it's Never thought I'd be I should be doing this tour around 10. I'm starting to you know, to keep these guys in their place. Raiders. Now we got as far as the clinic. No, the robot shop, wasn't it? Yeah. Got as far as the robot shop. Oh yeah, we've got Vault Guy here as well. So, we did the robot shop. So next up is the classroom. These are the only two large um, areas, right? And this is the classroom. I kind of like the classroom. Oh, you see that? Remember what I said, guys, about the uh, SOE Omni thing? All I've got to do is when I'm doing the last little bit of fix up in here, I've got one bed. You should really, let's say, if you're a finishing save, at least I'll wait for at least one, maybe two minutes after. Um, you come out of build mode for your finishing save. So this is the classroom. See, I knew I'd be using those desks and I did want to split the floor. So I put the extra effort in putting these in because, let's face it, they're the only bookshelves I have. So I needed to spread the wood look around a bit. And now we've got the desks, the flooring and that, so it kind of kicks in. And a little back thing as well on that. Everyone's tired. We need more beds down here. Yes. And our teacher. And do you remember that God exam? Well, it was actually a God test from Fallout 3. Hmm. But it turned out awesome. Oh. Oh, thank you, Joe. Now, we just knew we were doing the vault, so... It was a big area. So I thought I'd make it a trader's vault. As an excuse. 
you know, I've never really done much traders on settlements. So I had a good bit of room back here. So I went by what I had. I had a, a lot of medical stuff. So obviously one was going to be um, a clinic. And then I remembered, you know, I had the secretary's desk, huh? the book library, and most importantly, and the kind of uh, fallout tree school desks. So I said, yeah, we go with a classroom. And I just came together from that. We there wasn't much to talk put into it, really. We'll teach them again if they come back. Oh my. It seems like Croc got his space in the classroom as well. <laughs> and that's... That's our classroom. I tell you, the last thing I'd be worried about in a vault is finding a place to sleep. Now we have our clothing here. You should have seen it. They just the usual ready. stuff. I doubt they'll be back. Stacking them looked horrible, so you know, single pieces. I need this is our coffee shop. Slocum Joe. And of I course really we have I, I mean, Clem as our really be that bad? absolutely spotless, full of hygiene chef. Again, a ton of bitching. Well. No, you won't, Clem. Let's face it. Good old Clem. And that's a coffee shop. Yeah, this took some time. About 170, I'd say. 160. And I think our last one is... Oh yeah, General Store. This is the very first store I did. It's the first one we got done. I wonder what else you missed. Would you like to have a look, Joe? Tie section. I'll run through them and you tell me which ones you missed. Yes. And that's our little trader store. And you've seen the clinic and uh, all of that. I'll have to come back. I forgot a bed. Oh, yeah, and we have this. This is what I like. You can actually look down on the park from here. Uh, we've got some security guards doing that here and here. And then, you know, these guys each side here, a kind of symmetry to it. Yeah, this is my favorite part here. You know, closing that off would be folly. We can look down on the park from there. Mm. <laughs> um. oh, that's the one we're on now. Sunshine Tidings. Surely you have seen Sunshine Tidings. Of course you did, Joe. Um, you have, haven't you? Have you seen Sunshine Tidings, Joe? Yes, the sixth of September. True, I was watching that. You've seen that. You've seen that. Uh, uh, you've probably seen Grey Gardens. <laughs> uh, oh, the outpost. You missed the outpost, Joe. That was a large radio TV station with a kind of working uh, radio TV sh station factory beneath. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one, Joe. That's a biggie. That took quite some time. Yeah. It turned out pretty decently. So, we'll use the car park pieces on this. Another, another small build. Tiny, tiny build. This was our Christmas build. 
Hence the decorations. One of the few pills I add uh, with and workshop stuff too. Now, let's get inside. So, that's our loading bay here. We got a uh, Galaxy News, blah blah blah. And here we have our little, you know, waiting for delivery. I put them in randomly, and after I loaded a few times, they all came out, you know, paired up. I took some quite some time to, to get that working right. So that's our little loading area here. Hmm, I like the little moving parts on it, Joe. And this one was a classic, wasn't it? Danger, falling material. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, and one might be hit by a fuse. You want to be keeping away from that one. <laughs> now, this is our office here for our boss. Right here. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place and he's got a little inspection door here. Yeah, that's all, you know. Uh, hooked up to the bottom part that goes all around the side of the factory, all around the settlement, really. And down here, we've got that guy there, and he seems to be a tiny bit ticked off for that, just a little bit. And that's the bit, that's a kind of loading area production here. Uh, there's that guy over there. So. As we go out here, can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, hi, Terry. And how have you been? That goes up to a larger settlement, but let's do the production area. Here we have our little maintenance room. The old classic guy painting a wall. Out here? Of course, the sign. And as we go up here, and this took forever to do this one, Jill, because of all the pieces. Here's our little production area here. Lost track of how many blisters I got. <laughs> the cage is just to resize the TVs. I started even mentioning the placing of them. And of course, a control center. A 100% original. That's our croc original. Now, we go through here. You see, we've used the Boscom TV and GNN radio uh, signs. Well, that's for we've got broadcasting stations right on top, a TV broadcasting station and a radio one. So it's a kind of one-stop shop, you know. They make the programs, they sell the equipment, and they make it as well. A little quality control Hi, inspector. Boy. Little workstations here. You've got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. And that goes all the way around, kind of endless circle. You know, going, falling off that con <gasps> conveyor belt and then back up again. So that's the production area. Oh yeah, we do have Voltec guy again. He does keep showing up, doesn't he? 
So, let's go up to our settlement. So yeah, we went with the Christmas team. We're doing a Christmas special. And of course, we have got our reception here. Boscom TV and GNN Radio here. Okay, let's have a quick look at our reception office. This is our reception to office. Can't talk now. And a little filing area back here. Huh? I like this actually. Reminds me of the Brotherhood of Steel Bunker in, um, I think it was New Vegas, wasn't it? Was it New Vegas? Yeah. You remember that where the scribes were? No. The building itself, so... Almost everything on this side, Joe, has been duplicated on the other, you know, two companies, so... We have cafeterias on the bottom level. Uh, then I think there's offices on the next level. Then our generator section, right in the center. And then there's, uh, I don't know, bedrooms, yeah. And the same on that. The difference would be the, the TV radio station, and uh, or the TV station and the radio station. But they're pretty much cloned, you know, even the entrance here on each side. And the centerpiece serves as just a stairway. And a little extra bit of detail I suppose. Right, let's carry on. So on each of these sides you've got this, you know, you walk through, you've got the, the love boat team. The love boat. <laughs> you remember that old TV series? Uh, we had the, the flamingos, so we went with it. And it goes out to the stairway. So, here we have our kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we seen there, was it? The pink flamingos, wasn't it? So this is our... I hope you ain't one of them since here to spy on me. Our kitchen, and as usual, lightly decorated. This little area here. And of course our dining area. Easy living, this ain't. <sighs> oh, would you believe I timed it? I had one hour, 12 minutes sleep in... Mm, 28 hours. I've been having a horrible time lately. Now, this one here is basically exactly the same. Maybe the NPCs might be a little different, you know, the love boat team, the, you know, the way coming in, and uh, the cafeteria. NBC is a little different but out from that. You know, you know everything. Call a good day? Everything One the that same. ends without an empty stomach. So that's a kitchen level. Yeah. Oh, just for the last few days, you know. 
It started off good. I got a new uh, special mattress and I seem to be getting an extra half hour, maybe even an hour of sleep. And then it all fell to it all fell to ruin. Maybe it was just the placebo. No, just I think it's all the calls I've been getting in that. And now I'm kind of stuck in a cycle. And a couple of other bits and pieces came up that, you know. One was, um, hmm. uh, it's some kind of special mattress. Yeah. One of my um, GPs recommended it for my condition. Yeah, it's not too bad. Do you know, it's always horrible sleeping on a, a new mattress, isn't it? But, um, you know, I think I just fell into a rut of very little sleep because, um, what was it, guys, about a week ago or something, right after my stream, I couldn't have gone to sleep. I had to, to shower and go to a funeral mass, you know, one of my very old friends. And, yeah, it was kind of downhill from that. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. I can't seem to do anything for mine. Hmm. Oh, we we haven't seen each other in a long, long time. And he's, he's been sick for a while. For a good while. But because of, you know, the colds and the flus and the the viruses floating around, his family wouldn't, um, you know, allow anyone to see him. He was in a kind of isolation. And to be honest, I can't blame him because, you know, they wanted to hang on. You know, they wanted him there as long as possible, and they didn't want to risk that. So, yeah, I I don't blame them for that. I'd, I'd probably do the same if it was my dad. You know, tried to hold on to him as, as long as I could. Uh, but I would like to have, um, you know, chatted with him again, you know, before he got really bad. Mm. Oh, well. The circle of life. And thanks for stopping by, Terry. I appreciate it. I hope you have uh, a good rest, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. And thank you, Jill. Yeah. Now, once you get to my age, I lose a lot of friends. Now. Okay. Yeah, but I haven't been sleeping well since that. I don't think it's anything psychological about that. It's just, it got me into this kind of, um, kind of vicious sleep cycle, or lack of. Mm. No, it's still not easy. It's still not easy. Now, on the next level, we have our officers. So you got something like that. And these guys even get individual office pieces. Down here, and you've got your coffee. Well, you should be a we coffee need to get drinker. Back to Diamond City one of these days. And it's here we have off. one, two, excuse me, three, four, five, six of these offices, and they're all decorated the same. Except for the centerpiece, which is, you know, because of the window. That is you our little you should go. printing this room. Place is run by robots. High tech printing room. <laughs> and thanks for the knock, Terry. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we weren't quite sure what to build. And then Perry said, yeah, huh? well, you know, we've got the radio tower. What about a radio station? So I said, yeah, we'd go with that. And then this was way too big for a radio station. So we said, okay, how go, why don't we just put in a, a TV um, about that farm run by Google? thing as well. And then that was still too big. So we did a production plant below. So it's about the right size, I suppose, now for, for two separate, um, you know, companies and a large production plant. Yeah, so they, you know, do the radio shows, make the TV shows, sell, 
sell the sell and supply the TVs and radios, and also manufacture them. One stop shop. Hey, you gotta be efficient. If you work in the apocalypse, <laughs> one stop. Now this one again is a duplicate. And even if I wanted to make it different, to be honest, I didn't really have enough stuff. Plus I like the symmetry of it. And it kind of makes sense because, you know, there's two different companies. Mm. Uh, definitely. <laughs> Overachievers. So that's our office section. Now we're going up, I don't know, this is one of my favorite parts. Um, the generator power section. This is a whole level uh, kind of dedicated to that. I've recessed this in just at a half square. So we have this little walkway going around. And then we have these guys. My back hurts, my feet hurt, everything hurts. I love these generators for this. Build. They're just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that's a generator room. And of course, there is another one over here, which is. Ta da! You guessed it. Exactly the same. Hi, how are you? Now, as we go up, I think we get to our bedrooms. Yeah, this is our bedrooms. And we've got one, two, three, four bedrooms. And each one is exactly the same as this one. No, got back to Skyrim. <laughs> nice. Added a few more quest points. I think these right now. Oh, cool. <laughs> now, hang on. Let me just sleep for an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a problem. You're too close to the TV. You'll ruin your eyesight. This is uh, each one would have a large bathroom. Another day of hard work. It never changes. My God, that was hard to do. You know, to get her on that sink. I actually did find out something um, interesting while doing that. I told Croc I needed my Skyrim fix. You did. Mm. <laughs> but if you use a male settler for this, his hands are way too high. Trouble, I hope. Yeah, on the same mat. Strange. You know, something new every day. And of course our little shower room. Huh? Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Yep. And that is the better. <laughs> And of course the other one is a duplicate. Except the two broadcasting centers, obviously. You know, they're different. Yes. Now, I'm yawning already. Now, this is our TV, TV station here. Yeah, this is our TV station. Uh, we've got our cameraman. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> we have our anchorman. Mm. Yeah, I like this part. And of course we put in some memory then 
the loungers. Uh, the red lighting kind of worked. And that's our TV one. Now, the radio um, station, we did like a kind of silver shroud. You know, because in this game they do a kind of silver shroud kind of radio thing. You know the 50s where they have that standing microphone kind of thing. So there might be a more detailed in here because you know, we had more of a story to work with. And this is our broadcaster here. We dressed him as a civil huh? shroud. You know, and you've got a lot of silver shroud stuff as well. And of course our little call in centre. It's not gonna be a radio station without our call in centre. Although you'll have to do it by ham radio. But still. It's a thought that counts, isn't it? <laughs> yes. And that's our call in centre. And we can actually get to the roof. Oh, from here. Oh, we've got our massive signs. We also have two satellite dishes. And that looks really, really pretty. You know, once it gets dark. And that's our outpost, Ziminga, Zimanja, Yazumba, the Zimba, whatever it's called. <laughs> I just call it um, Zumba, yeah. <laughs> and that's that one. I think you got them all, Joe. Yeah, you've seen North Hagen Beach and... Oh, have you seen the home plate, Joe? That would be a quick tour. Uh, home plate. We, we made that a player home. Um, you know, storage, bobbleheads, weapons. Yeah, I knew you'd seen the home plate. Yeah, I think that's all you missed, really. But they took a long time, so, you know. But you see, we've been doing it every second day now, Joe, as well. So, they would have been done over over a long time, yeah. Ten pounds, you've seen ten pounds, and, no, yeah. Obviously, Spectacle Island. Of course you've seen Spectacle Island. And Vault 88, we're working on Mock Water. Uh, uh, the old outpost. Ah, that's around it, I would say. And let's go back and I'll show you what I've been doing on, um, this is only our second day. Yeah, I think that's it. But it took a long time to do those two settlements, they're huge. And we've only been doing them every second day. But once this new game drops in a few days, I might be able to get a little break from this. I'm very, very close to burning out and building on this. What are we on again? Uh, the lack of, of pieces now is its kind of driving me mad. I would need, like, maybe another 3 gigabytes of space. And... A nice few decorating and and and, and kind of uh, curtain mods, you know, to get me back into the swing again. Mm. Yeah. Oh, hi, Hufflepuff. I'm fine, thanks. And I hope you've been also. And how have you been? There's a couple of new games coming out shortly, Joe. One of them has a kind of building feature, albeit. You would have to progress a good bit through the game to be able to build properly, but... Oh, we on again. Oh, Mark Water. 
Yeah, this is what we're doing here. I'm going with a synth factory, Jill. I decided to do here. Well, not a factory. Well, yeah, kind of a factory. More of a, <coughs> a kind of staging post for invasion kind of thing. You know, by the Institute. Oh, hi, Vault. And how have you been? I was just showing Jill the two settlements she missed. Um, um, Vault 88 and the outpost as well. Ah, that's good. Nice, relaxing. Yeah, so this is what I'm going with here. Oh, this is going to take a while to get this together in my head, but I have a rough idea. You know, of what I want. And that will be our little synth production plant here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you see where I'm going with this? And two here. And stepped here. And then this, and then staggered with the other vetters on each side. You know, going up, I need two stories to cover. Like huge, those synth machines. Well, I might be able to get up another level from that. Oh yeah, this is what I've done here, Vault. I think I've got it. I managed to blend the groundwork on the missing piece. More work than I wanted to put into it, to be honest. Now that took the vast amount of time I had here. Yeah, it will be quicker build, I think, Joe, than my other ones. Because I don't have a ton of rooms to go through. You see what I mean here, Vault? The build up. Well, that was a bit of a nightmare. And I put all the plants on it as well, so you know, I couldn't just leave the dirt piles. And I got all the side pieces fixed as well. Uh, it's not that noticeable, you know. Yeah, and we had big problems here last time. I streamed you with this. There was a large um, space. We couldn't really build out from it. And this was the next best thing, you know. And I got all these fixed. I actually got them snapped after the vault. Which is way better. And that's it. That's our surround. So you see where I'm going with this. You can imagine another tower again on this. If I can, if it, if it, if it will go that high. The cell would take it because it will have a lot less pieces than my usual settlements. Hmm. Oh, what do I as well? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, good. Gets better soon. Nice. I'd be lurking, no problem. Oh, I see. Oh, my. Yeah, I hope it gets better for you, um, Vault. If you're listening in, no problem. Oh, yeah, that's the only way we could have managed it. Vault, I think. Out from that, we were just wasting time. And thanks for stopping by and lurking. I appreciate it, Vault. Now let's load this again. I'll get something to drink and then I'll see if I can patch this together. The kind of look I want for it. We're going for a kind of institute look. Right. Now, 
it's a couple of different ways we could do this to be honest I think we'll be only able to you see this is technically uh, three stories on the bottom so I was thinking of blocking here we most definitely need a fake story to be honest or maybe putting two more small elevators on the side for Oh, we can have our settler of floor. Ah, cool. That might work, guys. Um, yeah, well, that would be right top, wouldn't it? Let me have a look. I'll show you what I mean. How feasible that would be. I think I have a plan. I actually think I have a plan. We'll see if we can make it work. And this would cover in our settler room, you know, really, really neatly. Now, first of all, I need to know how high I can go on this little guy. That's our first order. See, that's actually three stories. It's just the ramps that's covering that. So how high can Croc go? And I have a plan. Be able to take an elevator down to it as well. Probably central. Now I would need one more on this, so we get this up and then we'll see. I don't think... Well, I would need one more again as a kind of roof capping thing. So there could be two. Two, maybe even three. No, definitely two hidden ones. So it would be just top, probably, then and bottom. It's a pity then it don't come in half pieces from there. Um. Okay. Let me see. Well, this will need a third one anyway. But this floor here will be absolutely hidden, I think. But the problem with doing that is if you didn't go halfway, you'd probably need a double floor, which might be a bit much. Unless... Mm, okay, we could have just one production plant. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'll hammer out that detail in a moment. Let me see what we're doing here. Oh, boy. This is the size we need to get to there. That's our tree. I don't think we could go any higher than that, guys. But you know me, if I can switch another tree on that, I'll totally do it. Um, I will totally go for it. I 
can't remember how high we can build on this one, but we're a good bit up, actually. We're two, three, six, about eight stories from the original map level. Yeah, because of the base as well. I don't think we could go higher than this, but this is, you know, as far as we really need to go, we're going with the two large sections. Mm. I can still easily hide one of the sections, you know. Even borrow down a bit in places if I want to, so it's not a biggie. Ah. I think maybe we've reached our limit. I think we have. That's our limit, guys. Eight stories. Okay, that's all I needed to know. That's as big as it gets. Yep. That's how far the cookie crumbles. Now. Okay. My head story says it's pretty good. Now. Oh, let's see. I wouldn't mind using a balcony area here, guys. But two stories. My God, I think I could make it here. Now that I've changed it to two stories and then some. Uh, possible. Very, very possible. Hmm. I'll have a look in a moment. But to be honest, it's it's going to be glass. You know, I think glass would be the better solution. Okay, that's gonna be a hard one to fit, isn't it? Well, that's what we need, just two, two. I'll leave you over here. Should be able to get the start from the other one as well. Right. Yeah, it won't be that anyway. I think it's the half ones I need, and then we can go with the other ones. Glitching in the bottom panels. I'm gonna do that on some kind of um, platform in a moment. We'll call those the tidy up pieces, probably. I suppose I could go with a balcony up here. Be different. Well, I'll just have to push it out a little bit, maybe. I can do that as a little bit of extra design later.
now off at uh, the bottom section on that later. Uh, that's not a biggie. So now you see what I mean? I don't think coming across here, guys, with another one would really help, you know? Not in the least. Uh, that I'll probably be changing. I'll, I'll probably use the, the rusted steel one. That was a different plan I had. Okay. Okay, I should be able to set these from here. So, uh, the corners will be done like this, and I need to come down at least one more on this side. I'll leave that open in a large balcony. And we do the, the last little details on that later. Well, that's the kind of layout I need. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Right, let's get working on this little guy. And I'll start to slowly put this thing together. Oh. That's a bit different, isn't it? Hmm. I see. So you're kind of leaving there. Right. And we'll take a little while, but we'll get it. See what I mean? I wonder if I can, you know, get a little bit clever with this now and start to do the small bits. Let's see, can we, you know, get them to to work for us? Ah, oh, such a shame. That looks good. Yeah, we don't need... Well, we kind of do need that one there. Oh, I like it. I think we'll be able to get away with this, guys. This is something that has been bothering me for... Ah, you little... Hmm... This is worth taking the time to fix. Oh, hang on, that's stupid of me. That one is a straight piece. Oh yeah, there will be two straight pieces. Ah. Uh, on that. That's the only way to do that, I think. Okay, lighting. I've got a ton of SOE lighting we could use as well. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah, I'll plot away at this as long as I can. Oh, I'll get my four or five hours anyway, no matter what happens. You know, no matter how tired I am, I'll be able to push it for that one. Now, let's get something to drink. It's a pity about the weather here. It's depressing. Yeah, we'll concentrate on the structure. You know the nasty little bits and I'll get it together. This is 
the first little problem we have to solve. If we can find a system for this, we're pretty good. Nightmare little settlement. And not only is it because of the groundwork, but mostly the weather, to be honest. Once we get it up, we can have a look at some structural changes to see if we can get a better look on it, but for the time being, this is what we need to concentrate on. that one in but I'll put it in regardless anyway and then these two here well we know what they will go straight across on those pillars I think well we're lucky there's a kind of array of different pieces on this one Yeah, that would be our little problem, all right. See what I mean? Oh, that's that's our layout for the corner pieces. Hi, blonde. Time changes here is with me out, so no problem, I won't stay long. I've been pretty tired all day as well. I know I've been saying that all the time, but yeah, I've been seriously <gasps> wiped out this past few days. Oh, I see. Maybe not that feasible. Well, we are going across here, so... Yeah, I could. I could probably do it this way. It's possible. They'll always have to be removed. Always. Oh, come on, Croc. Don't need this hassle. Okay, I think we'll get this. We should 100% concentrate on these pillars in you know, the centerpiece of the entire settlement. There. Now we can work on the rest. An hour today, oh my. Five hours, that's not bad, yeah. I've been, uh, you know, doing five hours, then doing seven or eight, then doing five. I'm kind of all over the place. But I always say, you know, as long as you do at least four hours, it's a, you know, a decent stream.
I feel like I went several rounds of Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm guessing. That's the pitter look. I think we need, you know, for the side. I think it would be perfect. The other ones are different, obviously, but we'll work out the glitching around the edges later. What time is it? Oh, about quarter to three a.m. Yeah, it's two forty-eight a.m. Give or take a minute. I'm not sure if that clock is right. Oh, you idiot crock. You absolute idiot. It goes all out here. What am I thinking of? Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? No, I had to put these ones down the side. Yes, for a while. Art locks will be going forward shortly. Oh, sorry. Back. Ours will be going back shortly. So I'll get, I'll get that hour up uh, a little later. We also do daylight savings time. Yeah. So, let me see. I think we put them forward for daylight savings, so they'll be going back. Or is it? What way does it work again? So I'm four hours ahead of you. Uh, so, so it's 10.49 for you. Uh, so, yeah, I'll get back to five hours. Hmm. Yeah, we do it around the same time. Yeah, spring forward, fall back, yeah. So I think we do it at the same time. So it's only four hours for another six hours. <laughs> Blonde. Hmm. I, I, I really hate it, to be honest. I really do. I don't know how many times I showed up for work late or early because of that. Now, let me get something fresh here. Oops. There we go. Yeah. I I hope they do. Because it was only started by lobbyists. You know, for the, um, the shopping industries and that. They wanted more time to, to flog their wares, especially during the dark days. You know, the silly season, Christmas. So, and they greased the right palms. But it became very popular in the US and then, you know, spread through Europe as well. Greedy shopkeepers. There should be, um, yeah, none. But, you know, there is a kind of uh, universal time. I think it's UTC. But you couldn't expect countries to go by that. But, you know, if you were judging time zones, you know, that would be the way to do it. Local time is a different story, isn't it? Sunday night, so most people aren't late for work. Only church. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I messed up on that one. I think I better clear some space for myself because there's too much junk around here and it's starting to confuse me. It should be down one piece. 
And I think I'll come across, you know, on this, in a kind of large area here. But I'm wondering if I want to kind of go across on this. I doubt it very much. It's got to be opened up on two. You see where I stupidly messed up here? Oh, no worry. We'll work it. We'll work it. Ah, genius. Ah, it's just sheer genius. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see if we can get this one in. There, we don't even have to do that bottom one. Just whatever the eye can see. I was wondering why I had to do the other one. There, another one here, maybe. Yeah, I think we can manage this. Just got um, a little bit sidetracked. Tiny bit. <laughs> Who is the burned man? Oh, I think Joshua is something, isn't it? You're on about uh, Fallout um, New Vegas. Yeah, Caesar's Legion. And how have you been, Dr. Kioski? Joshua Graham, isn't it? I think... I could be wrong. I don't really remember much of the lore of um, of New Vegas. I think it was, wasn't it, Young? Joshua Graham. Can't believe I remember that. But apparently I do. Now... Yeah, I kind of messed up on that one, guys. I need to push these pieces down. But we can fix that one. Yeah, Joshua Graham. I'm nearly sure. I can't believe I remember it, to be honest. Yeah, Daniel. I could be wrong. But that was the guy that turned on Caesar. Burned him, you know, rolled him down a hill kind of thing. You now he's a kind of boogeyman kind of situation. wrong here. Big time. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I see. Let's see if I can get it from here. Well, if we use these half uh, ones to snap, I think. Should give us our, um, our space. Yeah. Now, let's see. That's basically what we're looking for there, guys. And that one I'll have to fix as well, won't I? Oh, and the whole thing goes down. I see. 
I see. I see where I went wrong. Yeah, we can fix this. Yeah. Okay, we're back on track. That's right, in the DRC, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the canyon one. The, the guys hanging around. But isn't it based off um, the Burning Man? The, the guy that Caesar killed. He was Caesar's right hand guy. Mm. On a search, yeah. And then they kind of elaborated a little more. He didn't actually die. You know what I mean? He was all bandaged up in, um, in the DLC. They added that a little bit more lore. Hmm. Hmm. I never really took much notice on it, to be honest. Now, there we go. That's what we're looking for, guys. I just find the other stupid pieces. There it is. I got it. There, now I can do the fill-ins. I'm thinking about restarting my follow. Oh, cool. Again. I wanted to be ready. Oh, yeah. Yuki, you're doing the sim... Some settlements thing. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Now. Foundations done. It's gonna take up a good bit of our time, but it's 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 gonna be a horrible settlement if we don't do it. I could use the stairs as well instead of the lifts, but if we get into trouble, we'll probably do that. I might, you know that. I might actually use the stairs. We'll see. I've got the SOE stuff there. It might work, but I prefer to go with the lifts, to be honest. The elevators, lifts, same thing. Um. Take you out, and then that's when we go with the other piece, you know, from here to here. So we take uh, those two, isn't it? 
No, we're not doing that one. We're just doing the one on top. But we could use it as... Yeah, we could use it as a little template. We could. Uh, give us a decent measurement, I'd say. Might be an easier way. And then we can work on the bottom pieces. Now, um, right, that's the way we want to do this. I don't know. Well, I'm I'm still kind of fifty fifty on that. I think it would blend it in too much to be honest. I prefer to keep a big huge open area. There. That's the fitting for that side. We can carry down on each one something like that and we'll get our fitting. Now, the bottom guys, let's get ready to rumble. And once I do, these bottom lines I'll do a clean up as well. Yeah, I forgot that one. That one is supposed to be a straight one. Oh yeah, I can work that. I think I can work that one. Ah, I see. Maybe a bit premature about that one. Okay, a bit premature with both of them. There we go. I just got those little guys to fit. Now, they're going to be a scream because I'll tell you why. We'll have to ditch a serious piece on that. You know, I think one of these other guys. Okay. Okay. I've... I think I've messed up again, have I? Oh, for God's sake. I have. We need to remove that one. 
there. Small mess up. I think I may have given for that one. And we push this piece in here. Just a tiny mess up. There we go. No build at all in three locations. In, um, <laughs> that would be Red Rocket, Abernathy, Century, yeah. <laughs> I still say it, you know, memory leak from one cell to another. Blonde, they're far too close. Way, way too close. Oh, absolutely. I found that out very, very um, early in the game. I began to really notice things always messed up in Century or Red Rocket. Um, definitely on my second playthrough. You've seen on Vault 88 uh, the memory leak from that quarry. And that's not a settlement, but it's still a lot of building, you know. Yeah, it's still a lot of building. Still a ton of building. Goes absolutely nuts. The last thing to go there would be script crash. Once that happens, then it's it's all over. It literally spreads like a virus to every single settlement. Hmm. Um. The only way to actually get around that one would be to. Let's say entering the settlements are okay until you take them over. You would have to stay within the build limits until you get it finished blonde, 100%. And all of your settlers in, everything like that. And when you're getting out, fast travel. And don't bother coming back. About the only way around that. And then when you're building, do what I do. You know, uh, sleep at night from about 8 p.m. to 10 a.m. That's the only way I could get, you know, whatever little I know about how the cells work and avoiding the the crashes, the bugs, the resource settlement bug in particular, uh, uh, even the fast travel bug was because of those three settlements. Ah, with some settlements too. Oh, you'll be in trouble then. Yeah, I forgot about that. Now, okay. guys we'll get this into shape in a moment slowly but surely but the pillars will you know, make the entire settlement so I've got to get these right don't mind about the silly concrete I'll be getting rid of that in a moment I'll probably have to well, well I might not be well I might not have to use them at all I think you know, now that I've decided to um, to go with this stuff, but I would probably need them across here anyway. All depends on how the on how the last pieces fit. Now. Now, 
There's something I want to see here. And I think it's the only way we could actually get this from a height standpoint. Yeah, it's a pity, man. That would be the only way. You know, we could actually fit that properly. We really have to take the pain of doing that. Ah, uh, that's not really gonna work, is it? Well, it wouldn't matter for that one. It's just that one there and the angle. Yeah, that would be good. That would probably be good. I can still use these. But there's a problem here. This one would have to be angled, like I said. You know, like this. But let's fix these before we you know, get too carried away. Let's fix them one at a time. Hmm. Yeah, always a lot of... Yeah, that's the worst possible thing you could do with the settlements, but, you know, it, may, it definitely makes it more immersive. Oh, it's still no rela release date. Oh. Ah, I'm only speaking from my experience on console and Xbox. Ah, that's cool. Now, I only see one way for this guy, and that's the old way. You know, the two pieces here coming up on that. Uh, so I'll probably have to do something like that one. That's exactly what we'll have to do. Gotta love the weather here, huh? guys out from that piece there which I think I can eventually fix it uh, that one will make a real difference it's kind of slanted uh, we could go square on these two wouldn't that be a better option and get this over with instead of glitching those stupid pieces To be honest, I think so. I'll get that glitch to the moment. Yeah, I think so, maybe. I'm keeping a kind of side on that one. Yeah, I think that might be the only option, guys. back on yeah. different buildings ah yeah you couldn't stay there you'd, you'd have to be doing the quests and stuff 
Yeah, that would be a problem. Definitely. That's how we do it, guys. That's the only way that we do it. And then the other one, what is it? Uh, one, four, one, and then... They see. Starting to fill up a lot, isn't it? Right, that's that started from here, guys. I think we should be able to get it. clean up oh. 
I don't know. I think with this, I'll go straight on, guys. You know, I don't want... Um, surely I don't want another... Um, no, I just want one here in the front. And the elevator on the back, so I think I'll go straight down with those ones. Hmm. I think so, yeah. So it will be like that. Ah, just get that one out. Hmm. It might be a little harder to do. I would have to be pushed back maybe half a square. Hmm. Uh, just a full one then. Instead would work. Probably. Well, you see the problem with a full one? No, I'd have to go half to keep the, the pieces together. Drat. A half piece. Um, mm, what I have to do? of it. When I went to a grocery store, I bought a nice of ice and steak and wanted to try it. Oh, cool. a second on this now and we'll check the, the downward line. See I'm starting to trip up over all the junk I have here. <laughs> well, I have to work out the design I want on this. Um, That would be... Yeah, one, two. That's exactly how it would be here on this. Let's see the time. Alright, let's get building. I'll get rid of that um, synth station for a moment. Yeah, but I've got a, a big platform down, so it's not too much hassle. Although I did have to go two squares up blonde, you know, to achieve it. Obviously, you'd lose a bit of height, but eight stories is enough. More than enough. No, it's just this little complicated SOE stuff. I'm trying to get them all to snap. Um... I think I know the problem or no use a half guy. Oh, here's one here. Keep 
get it nice in line together as well, so. There we go. That's in line. Not a way of really doing that to keep that circle there. <laughs> See, it's one and a half. Oh, it's two when you take this into account. There, the rest will be going straight up and it's coming around. So, I don't think we have any use for these guys. Or even that one. Well, not the way I want to go anyway. A little change on our um, on our build, not much. It will make a big difference outside. In biggie. will be a Venito as well. Okay, I want to be careful here and make sure I'm on the right edge. Oh, here is another one. It's actually out here, yeah. There is one here. the design we need. And that's the only thing that will work. I'll make it in the next couple of days. Ah, cool. Yeah, this one. No, it's just the Institute build. Is, um, I'm trying to work out the design I want on it. Uh, I'll get it. And then this. This is not helping me here. You know what I can't get out of my mind, young? All day and now as I'm playing. Uh, especially because you mentioned that doing some building, eh? <laughs> From Skyrim. 
It's like one of those nasty songs you hear that just keeps going around in your head. Pretty about the stupid weather, isn't it? Uh, we need two there and one there. And yeah. Yeah, this would work. Now, okay. Let's do this. I think this would be our best little layout. Now. to co I have a neighbour that has to comment on what I'm doing like doing some laundry huh or been shopping <laughs> you know when I used to buy the wood in Skyrim uh, I wouldn't just buy one or two I'd buy maybe about at the very least maybe four or five hundred so it would come in twenties so you would keep spamming it just to get it over with and it would, the NPC would be in a kind of um, dialogue loop, doing some building, eh? Doing some building, eh? Doing some building, eh? But I, I think I got about two pieces, about two thousand pieces there at one stage, and uh, it really, really irritated me. The roof will be a whole different kettle of fish. Those pieces I did are shallow. They work on flooring but not on the opposite side, so I can glitch some pieces on that later. I'm not, not too concerned. Not too concerned. There we go, guys. That's the entire back section. Hmm. Hmm. I had another neighbor that did that. I said, no, I carry groceries around all the time. Just time to change them out. Change them out. Ah. There, okay, we're starting to come around here a little bit. Alright, let me clean this a tiny bit. There's a lot of junk getting in the way. Those ones I'll need another roof section, so... I'll store these, but I'll scrap the other ones.
Alright, it's just getting in the way too much. Mechanical menace, huh? So I might have a use for those later. Just want to clean this place up a bit. Now. I'll show you the doors I have as well. Oh, we'll only be needing one. There's a couple of large doors that I could glitch in here. And I'll just come up over the edge. Oh, those edges we won't be using. They're junk. That was when I had a different build in mind. Had a decent system for doing this at least. It'll go a lot quicker. Basically how we do it. Oh, hang on. That's kinda strange. Oh yeah, that one up. There we go. One, two and the two from that end. Okay. Let's see. Let me get the rest of these guys. Well, we can. Mm. Now, I think I have some pieces here we can use. And of course, once we get the other stuff in, we'll use our railings as well. I think I used them all. Actually, I think I scrapped them. <laughs> now, <coughs> I'm. Uh, I think next place I'm, I'm going to play deaf and dumb. <laughs> Not a bad plan. Oh yeah, we gotta fix these. Alright. Uh. 
Let's see if I can fix this seating. I'm forever slipping off the edge. Now, that's a bit better. I cannot shake this thirst. Yeah. And since I walked this morning, it's constant. I think I better check my my salt intake again. I might be kind of going a bit overboard again with it. I see if I can do the the thingy here. Push it back half one. I would like to get them to snap on this. I can't see that happen. Oh, okay. That's oh, I get the floor pieces in, and I think by lifting them, putting a half piece in, then doing the snap and trying to put those back would probably work, you know, top and bottom. We'll see. We just fix our pillars anyway. All these are pretty much done. So, what, we missed one here? Oh yeah, and that as well, that could be an issue. Rat, we'll have to glitch those later. Most likely. Give it a shot. See what I mean? That is a killer. It's a pity, isn't it? Yeah, they'll have to be glitched. Well, I can use the other one anyway, and we can um, look at that line coming up. If I'm going to glitch a piece, it's going to be the other one. Every pillar so far. Wow. Yeah, except the corner pieces. Especially around there. These will be kind of straightforward. Um, I want to work out... You know, do I want to go to elevators? To be honest, we'll have a look. I never really trusted elevators. Although they look pretty decent. Um, well, I'll just get them out of the way and get the pillars in. And then I think I might go with the ladder pieces. But we'll leave them there just in case. No.
might be taking time, but these are a major part of this build, so I don't mind spending a bit of time on them. I wonder can these guys be changed in some way to um Ah uh, no, I don't wanna square them out guys to be honest. I'd prefer to clutch that piece in. It's a way better look. I should be able to do something similar on these then. ones are pretty round. I think we'll have to go with a round section, guys. Ah, uh, but... Oh, whatever. These ones will be, you know, fairly easy. Still is steel and aluminum. Okay. Right. Oh, hi, um, hi, Riceland. DC Riceland. Ireland, yeah. The Midlands. Right smack in the centre. And how have you been? How have you been well? I 
it's a pretty common accent, I think, for the Midlands. Well, it may be softened down a bit, maybe. But, well, pretty similar. get that one. Okay, we're making good progress on the structural pillars. Uh, we'll have to come up a little bit on the next one. I suppose I could give it a shot from here. We could get a few in. Oh, well, if we have to be leaving pieces off on the edges. Yeah, I can do that. Like that one, for instance. There. Ah, oh, drat. You see, that's... That's gonna be a problem. Mm. Oh, we get rid of that one. There. I'll use something different that... Concrete won't work. And then fill the pieces. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's just um, propaganda. The GDP was based on uh, large corporations hiding their tax money here. So the likes of Google and Amazon uh, would, let's say, divert a lot of profits to their bank accounts here which would jack up GDP. But that money w never got into the economy. It's just all smoke and mirrors, you know. Just a, a kind of uh, accounting trick. Mm. But, oh yeah, the salaries in the UK, but to be honest, I've worked in the UK and your kind of mid-level or low-level jobs are pretty bad paying, you know. Ireland has been always kind of okay. I would say so, yeah, on average. But if you're into, let's say, a specialised job, you know, um, IT, you know, if you're just maybe, you know, kind of elite in something, let's say, you know, yeah, you can pretty much get a good wage anywhere. But let's say if you're kind of grunt, you're, you're kind of mid-worker. Yeah, way better than the UK. Way better than the UK. From my um, experience, anyway. But I'm talking maybe three decades ago, Iceland. But I wouldn't put too much stock on that large GDP. That's just all the profits stored by Amazon and uh, all of those guys. You know, avoiding taxes in their own country. It is, but it's it's counted for. You know, the money, let's say, that would go into banks. But real GDP would be, and let's say, the money that goes from person to person. And it's invested um, back into the economy which that wouldn't be. And that would be just lying in a bank, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's counted um, in GDP, you know, gross national product. So the way, w the way we would do it, I think everyone does it, would be, you know, money, let's say, uh, that's saved and stuff, and money coming in, you know what I mean? So that came in but it's been locked in a safe. You no, know, usually money comes in would be, let's say, you know, from exports, you sell some stuff, people get it, they spend it, they buy cars, you know, they pay their workers and, and that kind of thing. But the corporations would just store their money, not unlike Switzerland, you know. So it's more like a private bank account. But it's still money coming into the country. To be honest, I think, you know, it shouldn't be included in the GDP. But there is an upside. 
And these corporations need skilled workers. And the education system here is pretty good. There's a lot of skilled workers, you know. And, you know, even if the tax rate goes up, in my opinion, the cost of setting up again, you know, doing deals with another country and then trying to train a new workforce would be counterproductive, you know. It wouldn't be cost effective. So, yeah, we're kind of, let's say, mid European country. Pretty much all the same. The side pieces, guys. Um, I think we basically went straight down, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, we'll do the same again. Yep, that's the one we want. instead of the elevators, but I'll hold the elevators around to see if I can... Let's see what way they look. Right, yes, you use this junk. in a moment. Let's see if I can get snap points for those ones. Oh, oh something I probably latched. No. 
Yeah, I'll do the side pieces later. That's not a biggie. Okay, so far so good. Now all I gotta do is look on the top one. Oh, hi Fenner. And how have you been? Sorry, I missed your message. I'm not sure if I if I said hi to you. My apologies. I hope you've been well, Fenner. Right. There, I'll work on this top guy. We come across one, we won't be using the other ones. Now, uh, let's see. I have a fair idea of what we need. This will be quick. Yeah, this should go quickly. Now, there's a bit of working out to do on this one. So it's time for me to clear a little area. I might keep these ladders just in case I need them. from there, wouldn't we? Interesting. a bit of a problem. Um, how would I manage that one? Hmm. i turn on this. I might be able to do it with a small piece, maybe. Let me see. Oh, the height thing. There. Um, this guy here might work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. stuff we'll be using anyway. <laughs> and that's exactly the stuff we're going to be using. Yeah, I might try to get up and we, you know, when we're doing the roof as well. Let's see how successful we are. That, however, might be a little bit harder. Yeah, 
the roof might take a time. Now, what are we doing? The two of them, and then, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we're keeping the centerpieces in check. That's one square. Yeah. Oh, we haven't done the ones on that side. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll most likely have to cover this with something eventually as well. to do the bottom ones, I think. Okay, that's bad news. Now that is rotten news. How did I miss these? Oh yeah, this thingy. Oh, I'll leave those in place. Couldn't hurt. are kind of okay as well. Oh, what about this guy? Yep. Now, okay. This guy would probably have to go down a half square. You know? Getting through it quickly now. Yeah, these have been giving me trouble here. It's obviously these guys. Yeah. No, we have no problems with those. I can slip them in when I'm up there. Okay.
Okay, let's go. Well, definitely a problem, I'd say, with the guys on the back. an issue as well. I think now is the time to see if I can find my runner. Uh, before we go too far. Okay, let's find our runner. It's a pity I haven't got anything that's even remote, remotely resembles, um, you know, I kind of have. I kind of have. If I forgo the elevator thing, I think I might be able to do it all right. I think uh, it's not exactly white, but I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it's here somewhere. If I can find it. But it's better than all the other junk. That's one thing that's really missing from the SOE then would have been really nice, you know, um, some decent um, trim. in snappy house not snappy house yeah there it is um almost sure it's here uh, this could be a problem finding this now where did i see it Concrete might not be a bad option, to be honest. Oh, the white metal. Oh, there's a white metal. Um, it's horrible. It really is horrible, to be honest. No, I'll see if I can find that piece. That's funny, I thought it was in Chalkit. I found it the other day. Again. Oh, I'll tell you where it could be. Here. No, that's just the concrete stuff. Oh, it is not an option, it's horrible. Almost sure it's in here, guys. Just finding it. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's a bit gaudy. These guys here, you see, it's a kind of brown junk. They're still way better than the other stuff. Uh, I 
don't like that one. I want that one there. Oh, I see. I see we're a problem, are we? Well, it's all stacked down. I may be able to use those ones. There. Okay. Corners are a problem. Ha! There we go, problem solved. And now we put these back on. Yeah, I think that would work. Um, so where is it? Kit ledges. It's in there, all right. Oh, hi, Jake. And to you too. And how have you been, Jake? Oh, I'm fine. Fine, thanks. Just a tiny bit of a cold, but nothing much. But I hope you've been well. So, what have you been up to, Jake? Ah, oh, that would work, guys. Um. Let's see the other guys now. So they're in ledges and shark it. Um, let's see how the side pieces go now. That would help me a lot. Ah. That's nice to have you here, Jake. Yeah, this is more quarter. It's pretty nasty. Another settlement. We've covered over most of it, so... Yeah, that's a pity, guys. Oh, we have hit the jackpot. We have definitely hit a jackpot. That's our problem solved, guys. That was a problem solver. For some reason, this seems to be a different piece. What the? Ah, come on. I must have used uh, the heavier piece. Apparently. Let's see what that is. Well, it looks like we're going with that. How stupid is that? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it's just a little cold. Yeah, shouldn't be too much um, of a problem. God, I hate this stuff. I can't see it properly. Um, snappy house. I wanted something that wasn't too gaudy, as plain as possible. Um... Okay. Oh, the other one is even worse. Oh, yeah, that's no good. There. So. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for. Now we see if we can get this guy here. Well, obviously not. We'll have to do the same thing with that. You know, move the pieces. But it's doable. It's 
all doable. Junk back. I think we're just to get that legend. One of a pop down, I'll check that legend in a moment. I think it's the best one we're gonna find. Nice. So Nice, okay, carry on. Might as well finish it. That's it, let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Well, it's way better than the other junk we had, and it's the only one we really have, to be honest. I wouldn't mind trying it here, and I'd even change the build slightly to to get that stuff in, to be honest. And we could have it in three sections, two, two, two. Mm. But I think we'll only be using it central. You know, to hide that piece. Mm, just through the middle, I'd say. But I will experiment with it a bit later. There's no rounded pieces, so you see where I'm going with that. That would be a major problem at the doorway. Well, let's see how it would work. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to do a lot to get that in. Mm, okay, let's just carry on then. Um, those edges they might work now I want to start from the far corner I'd say okay Hmm. Hmm. 
Right. Got contact. Oh, rat. Yeah, this I don't get it. That's really ticking me off, guys. Th these ones will have to be glitched unless I can find a, a different system. Uh, save my days. There's always a way. Well, there is one anyway. Okay, so we have a way of getting this one. Slow. Oh. That's a pity of us going there for a moment. There you go. Awkward guy, this one, isn't it? Same problems as the other guy, yeah. I'll definitely have to find out a system for this one. Yeah. Brutal. Um Okay, I'm gonna have to experiment a bit on this. So, how are we gonna get these little guys to snap? guys here. Ah ha ha. Ha. Um, you see what I'll try and do. I think I know how to do this one. I think we might be able to get it then. It's kind of roundabout way but I don't think we have any choice. Ha 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 I got it. Ah. Okay, I know how we'll do this now. That's how we'll do it. Perfect. Just needed an extra snap point. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, can we place this back together? I think we might get away with this. It's going to be grindy, but you know, at least we'll get it done. this one. That's pretty much done as well. Let me see. Ah, I can't see if that is done. Yeah. Just this one. All right. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Just snap point. Bottom will need to be glitched with a full piece later, but I don't mind that. Top I'm more concerned with. No. I think I will build a bed up here because jumping down and up is not really a great plan. When the structure's up, we'll see if you know, we can do any more with it, but for the time being, we'll have to stick with this one. Mm. Okay, that's done, I think, pretty much. These ones if I get them out. And then we can see what sides we're actually, you know, fixing. Oh, 
Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm back to work. No rest for the wicked. Oh, <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Really? That's going to be a problem falling down the hills now, isn't it? I'm not getting back up. I should really have a ladder system here for this little thing. Yeah. some steel. It's a little too hot, so that's why I'm probably you know, catching so many colds there. Right, that's that section. And I'll close in the roof in a moment. Something, you know, similar on the sides. Tempted to go down now with those maybe. Let's see if I can get up there and take a shot at filling that. Well these ones we won't be using anymore. So we can recycle them. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's give this one a shot. Oh, goodness. Mm. Same problem. Ages to do this way, but we have no choice, I think. Okay, that went a bit quicker.
Okay. quickly then. Two sides. Ah, let's see if we get away with it here, maybe. Ah, it didn't look too bad. Kind of ground glitch on the other side. This guy. Yeah. Well, that's the last one there. And there's the last one. At last. Oh, hi, Tarek. How have you been? My, I'm so tired. Unbelievably. I think I had a whopping hour, hour and 12 minutes sleep today. <laughs> so, what have you been up to? Okay, that's all our feelings so far. Start pilling it up. I come across with a roof. Mm. Wouldn't mind glitching that, but 
So doing this properly, half a chance. <laughs> mm. Around the pillars will be a pain, but possible. Well, that's it. I suppose we might as well try and do it. I wonder if we could um, get up top of that, maybe. Get it on the top section. Although we cover the other one, it doesn't really matter, you know, it's just too. I definitely don't want to make it tree high, you know. Um, let's see how high this guy swings. Oh yeah, we wanted an entire tree, guys. Two is not going to cut it. Yeah, it's going to have to be tree. It's just as well we looked at that, wasn't it? Before we put that other little base in. No, no, I didn't watch the rugby, uh, Tarek. Yeah. My day was um, kind of pretty busy. So, um, who was playing, Derek? Was it a monster, guys? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll be going right up to the top on that one. No doubt about that. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter which one we use, we use. And it all kind of looks the same. Let me have a look at this one. Yeah, we'll be going with a kind of fake roof. That's how we're doing it, guys. I think that was the one. Now, let me push back on this stupid seat. Yeah, it's in the red zone just. So on this settlement, let's say, from the lowest ground level would be... Let me see... Two... Two, two, three... About eight. Yeah. About eight, about eight stories, but that's SOE. So we're talking about maybe six, seven US all. Oh, six anyway. Now, okay. I'll do the side ones and then we'll close this in. Then we'll work on the side pieces and roof. I don't want to be switching these too much. I would probably need something to snap to. Uh, here we go. Right. 
Um, I'll have to bail out, guys. I'll have to make myself a little platform. Yeah, oh, I need it anyway. We're building on that. That is all I'd say. No, this stupid back is killing me. Let me stand up for a while doing this. Yeah, let's just get that out of the way. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, see what's going to really kill me is. Changing the pieces. Let's see if I can build a good few of these. See if I get the right one on the side. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can close this up. How oh, easy, how hard it is. Oh, hang on, I just got these two other pieces. Where are they? These guys. almost done four hours. I'll we'll see if I can push it a bit more than four. But I haven't been um, myself all day. 
I suppose lack of sleep. I'm not good to do that one. There. <gasps> okay. Next. I heard one. Oh, hang on. I think I put another large one on that. You know, just to cap off the corner. Looking good. This is where we need another one of these. You're still here, by the way. No problem, Jill. I can't believe how tired I am. <laughs> here, let me get some more soda. I think it's the cold. You know, sapping my strength, so to speak. Yeah, let me get some more. Here it is. Might bring me back to life. No, but an, uh, actually I timed it an hour and 12 minutes. It was ridiculous. But my right ankle has been killing me this past month. I think it might be eventually arthritis in that one. You know, the, the cold weather, the snap, and then, you know, that thing. Probably get a job now as a weather forecaster. <laughs> Human alarm system. <laughs> yeah. I remember my granddad used to always say that. He could tell when the cold weather was coming or even rain. Now I know, and let's just say, the silver lining in it is just not worth it. Because here it's always raining. 
You know, all you'd have to do is say it will rain today. And sure enough. Okay. Oh, you just found a railroad. Nice, since my brother loves the quest. Oh, the line is glitched. Oh, and that would kill me. Let's do a big stretch. There we go. I always thought it was really pretty ineffective, Joe, the railroad. Imagine, like let's say, logically, you know, the apocalypse. Nuclear bombs, that is devastation, you know, uh, Mad Max kind of thing, you know, roving bands of murderers, people starving, all of that stuff. And then you get this group and they get organized and the only thing they want to do is save toasters. All the debt and destruction. Like um the guys in New Vegas, yeah. Had a point and they were trying to save people. What would have something of the apocalypse or something? You remember those guys? Yeah, that was a point. But like, imagine your house is burning down. And let's say your neighbor's inside. You run in and you grab the toaster and mixer and save them. <laughs> Just never made much sense to me. The, um, what do they call them? The Minutemen. Yeah, nearly as ineffective, really. You know, a tiny band of guys, uh, you know, okay, fixing our settlements, looking for a place to live. But they're never going to grow because, you know, you help a settlement, so instead of getting some recruits and maybe making your organization a bit stronger, you're getting a bit weaker because, you know, every time they need their backside wiped, they call you. They can't defend themselves. So, as you're expanding, you're getting weaker. So, plus, the stuff they have is rubbish. Um, and they've not, they've not, haven't even really got a base, unless you give them one. Um, so, it's the Institute and the Brotherhood, really. you got one kind of a, a big brother organization that would probably be eventually go too far. And then you've got the racist Brotherhood. Oh, I don't know, could you go to a racist? Well, let's just say they don't like golds and other stuff. Or super mutants. <laughs> so not much of a decision, is it? But I think it kind of worked out perfectly, you know? Of the quest line, yeah. Oh, yeah, you'd want to do the quest line anyway. The Institute are strange. This is going to be the one that's kind of time consuming. But, you know, they're going pretty good, so. And I feel like it's not be that bad. Obviously, this one, that one in the center, is going to be nasty, but. No, it's really. Kind of going sweetly. Yeah, that's perfect. It's pretty about the height. 
keeps forcing me to build them piece by piece and lift them in like that. But we definitely need that height for that um, synth making machine. It's ridiculously high. I think I'll have to go with the railroad. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like that, isn't it? <laughs> Don't mind me just editing a video. No problem, Wilbur. And thanks for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you've been well. And best of luck with your video. No, not much choice. <laughs> risk your life for a toaster, or risk your life for, let's say, uh, an ungrateful settler, who now becomes your responsibility. As if we haven't got enough kids. <laughs> It's like that um, that tradition, you know, you save someone's life and then you're responsible for them. Oh, really? Really. Well, to get Bunker Hill as a settlement, uh, there's a few requirements, Joe. You need to get the trader quest from that um, Kessler, okay? You need to go down to that vendor guy. And you need to get that quest. Yeah. Did you get uh, Grandpa Savali's hand? There, my audio cut for a minute. So there's a Kessler quest. Then there's... Um, yeah, you need to do that. The hat. You know, the dead claw. Yeah. So you need to do that one. And then you need to go to the other vendor inside that will send you to that military place outside of County Crossing. You need to do that one as well. So those three. And you could throw in a little tour with that girl as well for good luck. So once you've got all them done, once you pass the battle for Bunker Hill, leave it for a few days. Then fast travel back, then talk to Kessler again. And she'll say you've got powerful friends, regardless of who you go with. Uh, you know the guy that does, um, he's outside, he's in, let's say if you're walking through the gate and you're looking ahead, he will be in the bottom left-hand corner. He does a kind of f um, food and stuff, yeah. He's right down at the bottom. He runs a little kind of, oh my god, it's the worst cafe ever. But there's two of them there on the counter, him and his son. And I think he, he asks you about his son. Yeah, you remember him? To kind of dissuade him from going out adventuring. Yeah, you need his quest. Now when you're doing that quest, it's it's okay except for the dead claw. But you might be lucky. He's hiding in um in a pipe. Sometimes he bugs out and just sits there, you know, looks at looks at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he hires a bed. Yeah, I think he'll hire you a bed. I'm really sure. He'll give you the quest, or he should. But I'm not sure if that's stuck behind doing the Kessler quest first. Maybe, you know, you've got to do the quest at Kessler. And what's her name? Oh, I forget her name, the other quest. The military place. Mm. I do. Um, It's outside... Green Top Nursery, just right across from Green Top Nursery. And it's like a hole in the ground, you just go into it. It should have a name, I forget the name of that. But I know it's it's literally like five seconds walking distance. Yeah, from Green Top Nursery settlement. Yeah. It's just a cave and there's not much in it. And I think once you go through the cave it'll break you into a locked house and you can get out from the, you know, from there. Yeah. I have all my Skyrim books on my phone. I don't know why. Oh. Probably transferred it or something, I'd say, but maybe by accident. Now, oh, where's that bed? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 
but um, I forget what it's called. Um, could be something sinkhole or something. Yeah, but I do know, you know, over all the settlements and stuff. I don't know exactly where it was. I used to run down there for fun and kill that dead claw when I was fixing up Green Top Nursery. He can be quite buggy. Sometimes he's not there, and sometimes I'd say he'll just look at you like he's ingested a kilo of cocaine, you know, without any movement. Sometimes you can hear him, but he's still not there. You know, you hear the breathing. Uh, there's a lot of things could happen on that one. <laughs> Like that, you see that trailer for that movie, Cocaine Bear? <laughs> eh, it looks like a funny one, doesn't it? Yeah, there's been a lot of advertisement for that one. Yeah, it looks funny. Yeah, there's another um, comedy as well I thought was quite funny. It's an old one. But you might like it, Joe. It's called Without a Paddle. Yeah. There's a couple of actors in that I think you'd recognize. Yeah, Cocaine Bear. Oh, hi, Zender. And how have you been? Hope you've been well. Yeah, did you see that one? Oh, my God. What was that again? What happens in the forest stays in the forest. <laughs> Ah, that was so funny. Yeah, without a paddle. I think that's the one. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. You know, the bear thing, play dead. <laughs> ah, that's good to hear, Xander. Extremely busy. Yeah, well, that's good as well. It's nice to keep busy. We're doing a uh, synth production plant kind of kind of forward invasion thing for when the institute decides to um to hit the commonwealth i was thinking of doing there's our little production thingy i'll be putting that in place in a minute this is just a balcony And this is probably one of the worst settlements for Murkwater construction site. I might not even do an entrance. I have a teleportation platform. You can actually teleport on it, but it, it looks exactly like the one in the Institute. We can use that maybe on the bottom floor. And the other one on the top. And this here, I intend to... Um, to lich the pieces it on this one. You know, near the edge. Probably the blue um, stuff. I think that would work. If I fall asleep on you. No problem, I'm sorry. No problem. Because I have. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope, uh, I hope it heals for you quickly. I hope you get well soon, Sander. But yeah, it's no fun, is it? You know, if you've got a broken arm or leg. Mm. Yeah. Well, as you said, you've been busy. You're probably quite tired. But I broke my wrist, actually, twice. That was the only time I've ever... Well, not... Well... I've got a barge disc on my neck, it's much more serious, but that's not exactly broken. Well, that was horrible, you know. Oh, worse, I would prefer a break, a fracture, than a sprain. Oh my, sprained ankle, terrible, painful, really painful. Oh, yeah, I've had one for a few days, I know exactly how you feel. But it's one of those lingering ones. I think we're in the season for it now, Sander. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much like that for everyone, I'd say.
see where I get trouble. Like that. So let's see. Because I don't want to fit that stupid thing by hand. There it is. Aye. We found a way. We found a way. Okay, this is done as far as here. So there's a few more pieces. This will be the, the one that's really going to take the most time. But that stupid machine takes a ton of room. Three stories for that one. There. We're getting there, we're getting there. But it's vital we get this neat. It's gotta be neat, we need snaps. Oh, horrible. Oh, yeah, not good. I have a few relatives that have a lot of metal rods in their hands and, and that. And a friend who got a pretty nasty spell from his motorcycle. Oh, you got it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You'll, you'll definitely need some time to heal. But I was talking to a friend of mine that had it done. Um, you know, from his hand. You know, getting the pins and stuff out. Oh, he said it was really horrible. Like a burning sensation. Mm. Literally pulling those out with the pliers. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Sounds really painful. But I just broke my wrist, I'd say. Well, when I was a kid, that ha healed pretty quickly. But I did break it also about maybe 15 years ago. Maybe 20. And that was a problem for me. I was told I would need pins. And um, so we tried to cast for six weeks. And the doctor said to me, he said, Oh, you know, there's a 50-50 chance that will heal at your age. And I said, Are you, do you smoke? And I said, yeah. And I said, there's no chance then. You know, we'll go ahead with that operation. I said, no, I'll keep the cast. Well, I said, you keep it on for six weeks. I said, I'll be back in eight. <laughs> he looked at me quite strange. I wanted to give it, you know, all the time I could. So I cut back on the smoking as much as I possibly could for those eight weeks. And um, went back and he was amazed. It healed. I didn't need the pins. Then he recommended some physiotherapy, but no. Um, yeah, just usual stuff. You know, squeeze a ball, that kind of thing. And at that time, I got plenty of exercise, so I didn't really need that. But uh, let's say I still, let's say there's two. I still can't, you know, straighten the, my fingers out fully. Maybe about after that break. Mm, about 95 percent you know there's still a bit of a dip it's like almost like a strain on the stringer so i can't you know oh yeah and painkillers yeah usually the stuff to give you um for that it's kind of tame yeah you used to probably suffer a bit Ah, uh, that was good. That actually worked. Getting that back now, that's going to be fun. There we go. 
That's nice, it's coming together good. It's just this is gonna take time. I don't know how many on this one. One on that or a couple on that one. And then we'll have that section done. There's a ton of these guys. And karaoke stars are snapping. Mm. Ah, I see. Yeah, with me, I don't go out and about that much, but my family does, and they visit me, so... You know, same difference. Well, I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but in the last few years, uh, maybe I'm just getting older. I'm I'm catching every cold. It's like the whole entire world has become a huge petri dish. Not even up to maybe a f couple of years ago, I might catch cold twice a year, maximum. Now it seems to be almost perpetual. There. That's all of them that we can fit on that, so that would be our finished pillar system. We'd roof that over, we'd have plenty of room for our machine. But that's what we would need to do. If we wanted to, we could go with uh, the brown kind of thingy as well. Maybe. Now we are truly I've done all those pillars. Nice. We know exactly what we're doing. This will change a lot now in a moment once I once I get a few uh, pieces in this. But I really wanted to grind out the side sections, you know, before the glass goes in. I hope we don't have to glitch the glass, but it's possible. It is definitely possible. Maybe even with a little balcony area. That's p that's possible as well. You know, if we really get into trouble. But for the time being, we'll do it this way. And I'm still not 100% sure about those stupid um, elevators. But I'll leave them there for a while. They do kind of look okay. It's just my problem with those now is we're going a kind of two story, so we'd probably have to box them. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they might they might work. In in the areas I'd say we could use stairs and the other ones. I feel better now, I took some painkillers. Ah, cool. So, if you don't mind me asking you what kind of painkillers did they give you? Was it just that um oh what did they call it? Stuff that literally give you for everything. No, they probably give you something heavier. You don't need it. Yeah. No, but thankfully, I came close to to getting pins one time, but never needed any metal bars or pins. My God, I'm riddled with arthritis. I can only imagine. Um, how I would be suffering if I needed pins in that. Oh, okay. Now. Right. 
rest of these guys. Yeah, we can do this and we can slowly work our way down or finish the pillars more likely. that uh, we'll be building all right okay I better just get these in instead I think I'll just work on these get some of it done Get it up as quickly as we possibly can. Okay, I'll make another ton of these guys. Codeine, yeah, that's the one I was trying to think of. Hmm, not familiar with the other one. Uh, oh yeah, that's why it's the antibiotic. Paracetamol would be the go-to, although quite useless, isn't it? You know, at best for a really moderate pain, um, and it would take how long? Maybe an hour to kick in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they used to give me for my kidney stone, even when they held me in paracetamol. I was absolutely raging. The only thing for that kind of pain would be some kind of injection. Any tablet form is a waste of time. And by pumping me up with paracetamol, she was literally uh, a nurse, the matron. She was literally making sure that it would be impossible for me to get that um, injection because you know, I'd have too much of that junk in my system. I never take painkillers, but you know, when I'm screaming in a hospital with a kidney stone, yeah, <laughs> knock me out quickly. That's a different story. Do some building, mm. but else we can get. Yeah, yeah. Until they come in at about maybe five other oh, start so early.
I spend the, the whole day just to, you spent the whole day just sleeping. I would be as well. Actually, it's best that you rest as much as possible, you know, or that's when you can really get some healing done. And then you'd be kind of wrecked and stressed out as well. So yeah, as much rest as you possibly can. You know, and wherever you've got those pins or, and that, you know, wherever you've got them removed, you know, let's say you got it in your left or right hand, you know, be careful not to, you know, pick anything up or anything with it. It can be reflex. Maybe use a sling for a while, you know. And definitely get as much rest as possible. This will be the last of the framework. The big stuff. a bit of work. <laughs> Overdoing. Yeah. Oh, it's your leg. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't be walking around. I know it's hard to stay in bed and everything, but still. You know, you'll at the very least delay the healing a lot. And in, in the long run, you know, you just have to spend more time in bed. Yeah, maybe not a good idea. Yeah, one piece at a time, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's familiar to the roof section, let's say, in um, Grey Garden, because that's the only way you can do a decent roof on these. But we will be covering it over a lot differently and lighting it up, and especially when the last pieces come in. It should make a difference. Hopefully. Oh. Oh. We're gonna finish each section as we go along I'd say would be the the best option. simple as that, I we'll just keep four on each of these. See, they're a bit high, but we can thank our lucky stars, the building system, and this will let us reach upwards. You know, so we don't have to be on a scaffolding. Uh, we 
we just keep plodding along. Eventually we'll have it done. This is it. This is as big as the building is going to be. Um, there will be a large synth replicating machine here. Probably a whole army of them that need you know, some consoles and some stuff like that. No, it will be a kind of designing thing. Um, but this is it. Yeah, because this is murk water. It's not too big and it's you can't really build up that high. And this is a pretty imposing structure, you know. That will be removed in a moment. That's just our little our little walkway. Once I get the glass and all of that stuff in. I was thinking about lining them up in battalions here. Like kind of a Star War thing. I might be able to use actual real settlers. I think we'll be better. Maybe some of the, the other ones inside. Yeah, but this is as big as it's going to be. I don't think here, let's say making it a bit bigger would help. I might have little compartment thingies that I can run around the side. That would kind of, you know, set it off. It's somewhere in my menu. I'll check them out later. Yeah, it will be. Probably be troubling you a lot. I kind of get that a little bit as well, let's say, without even breaking anything. You know, because of our drives. I would say the weather is definitely not helping it. But once you heal, you know, you'll most likely be a human weather machine. Any time the weather changes, uh, you'll get those aches and pains. I think it's got to do with air pressure. You know, when the weather is going to change, the air pressure will drop, and that will put a little bit more pressure, let's say, on your joints and that, which will cause kind of, you know, a bit of pain. Tremidol, yeah. That's the one they used to give me in the hospital, the second one, the isopan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do know for the likes of kidney stone and that, very very hard to um, to dull the pain of that one. You'd need to hurt stuff on that. I think the only way to really get rid of it is you would need probably a candle, a spoon, a rubber band, and a big 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 pile of heroin or something. The pain is unbelievable. I almost passed out with that one. I got sick. I literally got sick because of the pain. Horrible. Horrible pain. They gave me all of that stuff. You know, it was useless. But I kind of knew that myself. I, so I have one again. This is my third or fourth one, I think. Yeah, you know it's really bad then, don't you, Joe? You know, the pain was so intense I got sick, I couldn't believe it. And they probably, you know, dosed you up with those kind of middle-of-the-road um, paracetamol. Useless. Did absolutely nothing for the pain. But I don't think it can be helped, Joe, because when I injured my neck... It was, I have had a kidney stone a, a few times, and then I'd say I've had this. It was like kidney stone ten times over the pain. Uh, it was extremely bad. And they've, the doctor gave me, he knew how bad it was, or I should say the specialist, he gave me the strongest um, oral uh, painkiller there was. It was tiny. It was like heart medication, and it was green. I've never seen anything like it. But I took it, and it was useless. Yeah. It didn't even take the edge off. Well, basically, sediment will gather up in your kidney and form um, a spear, you know, a kind of stone. 
And that will move around and cause you a lot of pain and maybe bleeding. But sometimes it starts to travel from your kidneys, you know, to your urinary tract. And when that happens, it's like someone has a rusty knife, yeah, and they're moving it around inside of you, the pain. It's unbelievable, Alexander. And hi, um, Slippy, and thanks for following. I appreciate it. And welcome to the community. And how have you been, Slippy? I hope you've been well. Yeah, I have, Joe. Yeah. Extremely high. You know, maybe too high, to be honest. Mm. What is... Oh, morphine. Well, morphine would be an older drug. A little bit, let's say, like like heroin. It was used uh, a lot, let's say, in maybe up to probably the 1950s, 60s. They came along with some better drugs, let's say. They would use it in operations. It was a big problem during the Second World War. Um, you know, soldiers would take it a lot and get addicted. So, yeah. Morphine is more of a drug. It would numb your senses. You know, you'd give someone morphine if, you know, you're going to hack off their leg or their arm. Yeah. <laughs> You keep talking about this stuff, water. Is that stuff from Avatar, is it? <laughs> Audio is going a bit. Ah, I moved my mic accidentally. How's that, guys? Any better? Yeah, I've got one of those. Water worlds. Yeah, no, there's a new avatar, isn't there? Something of water, it's called. I know there's water in the title. Something silly like the sound of water, or the smell of it or something. Yeah, I think I've seen it advertised or something. Hmm. Yeah, Avatar 2, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one. So, Joe, where would I find this mythical liquid? This water, I think you called it, was it? <laughs> and the irony is, it's probably, you know, the best water ever here. Uh, I, well, I don't go hiking anymore, but there's this large hill. And there's the ruins of a 12th century abbey. And there's underground... Um, kind of well, you know, you've got to kind of walk into a kind of little bit of a cave to it. And, you know, even in a heat wave, you know, it's a mineral spring. The water is ice cold. Unbelievable. And I really have no excuse. But I wouldn't be able to make that track anymore, you know. Mm. It's good. Oh, I hate faucet water. Or bottled water. I wouldn't mind a natural spring somewhere. You know. I would obviously buy the water as well, just in case. Yeah, I was 15. Ah. Oh. I had two doses of morphine when you broke your leg. Oh. It must have been a bad one. Was it some kind of compound fracture? When I got in the ambulance and when... Yeah, oh, operation. Yeah, compound fracture. That was... My God, you're... You're unfortunate. Oh yeah, it would have been a reaction to it. Mm. They might have asked you, uh, was there any known drugs you were allergic to? They usually would. But I think the drawing up might have actually been more got to do with, you know, panic as well. You know, you knew you were in trouble, you were just a kid. And then a, a, a lot of pain as well. I think that's why you threw up as well. Yeah, 15. You know, you would have been terrified. Actually, I'd be terrified. Mm. Yeah. Like, even if it was 100 degrees outside, this would be ice cold. You could 
probably just put your hand in it for maybe a minute. You know what I mean? And then you'd have to, yeah. 12th century one. Oh my, and still that much damage. Oh. You're lucky to be alive, Xander. Quite lucky. But I have a cousin like that, you know, very, very um, accident prone. I remember he was about your age at the time, about 15. And I think it was in Manchester. But they were driving along the motorway. Oh, they were doing probably 60. No, no. That's another guy, he died. No, I think they were driving down some street in Manchester. They were going reasonably slow. But he was leaning against the door on the back. And the door opened and he fell out on the street. Got a nasty one. Again, like you. Compound fracture on the, on the leg. My, he's got... He's got more scars than Rambo. Yeah, natural spring, mineral spring. I think it's been there long before the Ambi, actually. But I do know the Abbey, when it was built in the 12th century, kind of incorporated it in, but that could have been there for millennia beforehand, Joe. Now, let's go. Let's fill these guys up. Ah, these ones might actually fit. No, that was just luck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if it was a much bigger truck, you know, you probably wouldn't be here. Yeah, it's it's a lot lower to the ground. The van would have been higher. I never I never actually calculated that. Quite right. Yeah, you would have gotten full, you know, probably just, you know, a tire over the leg, plenty of space for the rest of your body to escape. Yeah, I didn't consider that car would have been much lower to the ground, it would have crushed it. Oh my. Yeah, it would have been horrible, actually. Yeah. At any speed, you know, even at, at 10 or even 5, you, know, you get run over by a car and you're, you're pretty much dead. Oh, there's a piece missing. Oh, from the other end. Well, I can't actually get up there, can I? Okay, I think I'll try and fix that now. Here, I'll borrow one of these. There we go, that was easy. Okay, we'll be going again with the half ones on this, I think. Probably. Now. Yeah. Most likely. a little longer on the outside so I use the half ones 
Yes, unbelievable. And the ice cold. I mean ice cold. I might try and get some of my kids to do an expedition down there. My dad used to get it all the time. But I'd still boil it, uh, Joe. You know, even though there's a natural spring and it's untouched. You know, the way they do this. Kind of intensive farming now, you never know. Something might have leaked. So I'd definitely uh, boil it and let it cool. Never know, yeah. Although I could almost guarantee. You know what I mean? It's untouched. <laughs> or I might drink it, let's say, and, um, you know, not boil it. Probably turn into a werewolf or something. <laughs> That's, that water has a lot of bite. No, a werebear. <laughs> or a werecroc. Oh. Okay, we use these ones. When did we see the werebears again? Skyrim, it was. Yeah. There was even some on uh, Witcher. So. When they were doing Skyrim, then they must have followed some kind of legend or myth. Probably. Although, you know, Skyrim kind of borrowed heavily from the Vikings as well, didn't it? Yeah, in The Witcher, yeah. They're, no, they're actually in um, the DLC, the Dragonborn DLC also. There's one quest you actually get to do. Oh, I have God mode on Xander, so if I fall, I won't die. Watch this. Not a scratch. No, I lost too much time. Oh, that was back in the old days. I lost way too much time building. Like that. No, the only problem I have is getting back up. Which is not too bad. Oh, that stupid thing. No, it's stopping me. Yeah. Here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I used to I used to do a lot well in vanilla, yeah. I don't know how many times building a large tower. I'm gonna have to get used to no god mode again. There's another kind of building um game coming up in the next couple of days that I'm really, really interested in. So if I fall in that one, yeah, I'm pretty much dead. And not only that, I'd lose probably about 5%. I think, yeah, 5% of my abilities as well. So, I'd have to get back into the old system. I've been spoiled with that god mode thing in building. But it's nothing like survival building. You know, if a game is stable enough. I know it takes longer, but... It's much more fun. There we go. Oh, it happened to me. It used to happen to me a lot. I think 
uh, most I've ever lost was two hours, 15 minutes. I forgot to save. And I think that was on Taffington Boathouse. Yeah. Lost a good bit of time on Starlight as well. Lost a decent bit of time on that one. See, changing the menu is a big time waster as well. I'm probably best if I just build up a good few of these here. Oh, gone for. Apparently, got. Oh, we need more room. This is my third time I think to do this. So, we are at three times over the limit, and that's just on the foundation. But you really should have no problem here up to maybe seven times. Then it depends on, you know, if you've been sleeping properly or not. You could probably add another five to seven on that. So we need more room, apparently. Oh, let's give ourselves more room. Mm. I hate following the Vegas and fall through. When you're on, you don't give insane because you die. And you forget to save. Yeah, you're so far back. Yeah. But what happens? We use the I save uh, regularly in games. Especially just before a quest, making sure it doesn't bug out on me before I accept it. You know, and everything is done right, or if you've got to make a decision, you know, that kind of thing. So I can reload and see if there's any other options. Oh. I did about five hours on this before I came on. To as well, but not five altogether, you know, after I streamed I couldn't sleep and I think I stayed on for two hours and then came back on later about an hour and then about a half an hour, then about a, an hour and a half. Mm. Yeah, it was this here, the, the little bit you're not seeing here, Jill, it took the time. All this ground level here I put in along here. You see it here? All of that. The hide the edges on this. So I didn't have to spread out too much on the base. You see this here? It took ages and then the plants because it looked horrible. And now it looks more natural. Let's give us our nice little, little area here. Yeah, all of the really horrible, horrible stuff. Yeah, I got lucky. That was the only way. You know, I tried several things, but I knew. You know, that was the only way I'd do it. With those ramps. It, it didn't still didn't look too bad, but just too square, you know. Way too square. <gasps> now, let's keep going with this one. Once I get a roof in, I think I have snap in lights. We'll see how far that. You know, go in. I'm not doing glass on this. This would have to be properly enclosed. Now, where are you? There you are. Oh, 
Okay, well we've found this up to here then. We've got a good bit done. It's time consuming, isn't it? It's these little bits here. And then you've got to stop and do that and then get back for a higher reach. But I'm not complaining because at least you know it's working. Imagine glitching all of those pieces in. I think today I will go out. Oh yeah, get out for a little bit. Yeah, it might help. You know, as long as you didn't put too much pressure on that leg. can be pretty depressing sometimes staying in. Oh, you... I got caught. I fell right into the bottomless pit. Ah, it's not too bad. Uh, I must have reversed into that stupid... It. I just realized I was trying to walk without crutches one day. Oh, maybe not a good idea. I'll probably instinct, you know. Okay, now I'll repair that. I still actually might need those, so... Getting there. Best thing about the jalapeno is when you eat spicy crisps, <laughs> you don't feel a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the upsides, I suppose.
it's not bad. Nah, it's not bad. Alright. is changing over. these here for just one moment okay it looks like I'll have to pull more than one That's wrong then. I've done that wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, let's build this up. There you go. now there we go now let's get on with our little building So it's done. Yeah, it's a long process, but we almost have it done. Spamage, yeah. <laughs> might feel it on the way out too. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, I could spam it as well. Yeah, it's coming along, Volt. It's coming along. It's a bit grindy, but at least they're snapping, you know. Might be um, 
costly on time, but at least they're snapping. Yeah, it's coming along. We we'll soon have this closed up. I would say. are snapping pretty good so you know this isn't this caused me a lot of problems a lot uh, this is for I need um I definitely need these guys. I don't want to be falling off again. Right, let's see if we can get the um, rest of these guys in. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I think I just finished this and get the roof in. At least we'll get some luck on it. Let me see what we do from there. falling in there I no will stop the rot now let's see Oh, we're going for steel again. 
I've just got a thousand uh, nowhere to go. Excuse me. Uh, hang on. I downloaded something. Pretty sure it was still. Well, either way, we have it now. Love new building mods exactly, <laughs> exactly. Should be exactly enough to finish. Well, actually, I might have one too many. Sleep all right. Let's see if we can grab a few of these before we do. <laughs> Even the gunners had no major effects to make sure. Yeah, offered in the workshop. Facts. <laughs> yeah, they did. I have to say, they did. Definitely needs another one, all right. Although that's not the way it goes, it goes on the other one. But 
it goes there. There it is. Oh, one of these. See how turn one. I see. Faction wish that you knew there was any yeah, conspiracy in the organization. But hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, her brother heard the office, yeah. Yeah, maybe a little better. effective all right oh there we go now oh, how did far did we get on this okay right to that corner so the last pieces. Oh my! Right. Oh, I'll be happy when I have this roof done. Yeah, yeah, they're really ignored, to be honest. But I can kind of see why.
piece might have to be taken from there to fit that one. It give me a little bit of hassle as well. I stand directly below it. Are you kidding me? This is the last piece. I don't need this. The last real one. There. Got it, got it, got it. Where's that other one? Okay, that's... That's not good. Oh, you're kidding me. That's it. Go on in there. I was kind of worrying for a little bit there. Substitute. I think I've heard of that, yeah. 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 Hmm. Are you sure it's a mod uh, vault? That's not something you can do in the game. Just certain steps you've got to do. Where well, you can do that replacement thing, yeah. Hmm. I thought that was vanilla. I know I've done that time and time again, and I don't use questing mods. I'm really sure I did. You, yeah, you, you. There's a, there's a dialogue, yeah. Oh, it offers more. Ah, I see. A little bit more than the other one. Yeah, I get you. Got a different version of it. pieces I say would, would do it. Oh hi Alf uh, Iron Man. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. And welcome readers. And how have you been Soup? I hope you've been well. Good evening to you. Yeah we're doing um, an institute build on this one. This is Markwater construction site. Um, horrible little place. Well, we'll be putting in one of these synth fabricating machines and, you know, lining up a ton of settlers here in synth costumes, like a kind of invasion force kind of thing. And it's taking a bit of work. It's complicated. You know, I'll have a kind of... Uh, there won't even be an entrance. I'll put a teleporter pad here, you know, inside. You know, something like the Institute... But I really hate the weather on this settlement. Once I get my lights in and everything up and running, yeah, it should look a lot better. Might need a few adjustments here and there, I'd say. But not much. Yeah, not much. So, what were you up to, um, Alpha? What were you streaming? Well, I finished Vault 88, uh, Soup. I finished that. This is just my second day here on this. The first day I did the foundations. It was nasty because I had to build up the walls as well here. Or I should say the ground level. Uh, just to hide that edge. Oh, nice. Playing some Fortnite. Well, this is what we did at... Um, where is that 48? Yeah, here it is. 
This one took a while. Six days, twelve hours. Uh, I spent longer on them. But a lot of detail. You know, so it took a long time. So this is the vault. I just did some minimum fix up on this. You should have seen it. There is a, a memory leak here, so I've got to be careful. I've blocked this part up. Oh, there's one thing I've got to do here as well. I've got to come back. I still have about 10 minutes work on this. There's a couple of things I missed. The bed and, you know, getting correctly out of building mode for the SOE can be temperamental. But this is the last one I finished. Just leave it for a few seconds and there we go. So I've locked that one up. That little thing here, and of course that guy. Starting to think we're finally safe. Well, it'll soon be past the memory leak. You see the memory leak we there? Those raiders a lesson. We'll teach them again if they come back. And now here, we've done a little bit on the on the security office. We did a lot inside soup. Here a bit of a fix up. Some guys in security armor. Glad I'm in here. And I decided to do two holding cells here. You know, at the back, you know, holding two yeah. synth prisoners on this one. You know, with a guard as well, obviously. So that's what we've done here. We've done a little bit out here as well. Just a minor cleanup on this. And this. So it's a lot, you know, cleaner. Looks more apart. But this is the original vault part. We have um, a large build on the back. So this is our build here. So I've gone mostly with cryopods here. Lit some dummies inside. We've also got four shops here. This one is books. Yes. And this one is what's that? Where's now these two stairs go up to our top section here. And between the stairs we have the overseer's office. Now, in this corner here, we have our kiosk. Hi, how are you? And of course, this is something I couldn't remove from the vault. I killed you know that glowing ghoul and he left his stain and I couldn't scrap it so what I did was I got in this guy in a clean room suit so now it just looks like he's cleaning it up so yeah that would do and these guys are basically controllers for a cryopod these guys here and here I have a chem shop forever cleaning yeah <laughs> So this is our chem shop, and we got a kind yeah. of Hancock look like for that one. Now our bedroom is in here. And this is our bedroom over here. Those raiders up. Let's sleep a little bit. A lesson. We'll teach them again if they come back. Uh, that's our bedroom. So, what we've done is we've put a park here, right in the center of our settlement, here. 
where we can see, let's say, the second level where we've got a promenade of shops, you know, barbers, weapons, uh, small Slocum Joe coffee shop, uh, robot shop. We also have a clinic and a classroom. So this is our um, our park. Last over the dome on top, so we can see it from the other side as well, or from the next level. So that's a little park. Now let's go upstairs, and yeah, we seen the overseer. There's two of these stairs, one on each side, and they're joined, you know, by that walkway there. So this is what we've got upstairs. And here we have our armor shop. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. I doubt they'll be back. Uh, this is our barber shop. The raiders thought we were easy pickets, but we showed them different. Now, down here we have a bathroom, and outside we've got this kind of newspaper. Um, well, I won't say a stand table. Safe from those damn we've got a vortex look like. This is our bathroom. That's our bedroom. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Sip. Now, through here, we have our weapons. The layout is pretty much the same on all the shops, on the corner shops at least. You know, just the stuff inside will be different. And this is our weapon shop. Yeah? Now this is our clinic. There's two pretty big rooms, a clinic and classroom. This is the clinic here. And of course our dock. Come on, do your ah, uh, that's it. That's our dock. Now, here we have our robot shop. One of the greatest rich build ideas I've seen in any vault build. Oh, I thank you, vault. Proper park edition, yeah, not for 22 or 94 either. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is um, it's a robot shop. Of course, we dressed our vendor as the mechanist, who is forever looking out that window for some reason. We taught those raiders a lesson. We'll teach them again if they come back. So this is our robot shop.
and then here we have our classroom. So this is our classroom. Oh, our teacher is missing. Our teacher is missing. I need to assign someone to this. Okay, come back, teacher. Hi, how are you? There she is. She should sit in a moment. Let's teach. Oh, they'll be off duty shortly. So this is our classroom. Raiders thought we were easy pickings. We showed them different. That's your classroom. Yes. Uh, here we have clothing. So pretty much the same layout as the last. But just the items being different. And the vendor. Huh? Um... And here we have a little Slocum Joe's coffee shop. Ah, Clem. Clem was our chef. You've got some yeah, let's load this up again. And I'll run straight up to Clem. We're off duty. We get right to that part. If I wait, it might be dodgy. It might take three or four minutes. The cell is under a lot of pressure with this build. the SOE. I just gotta make sure. I gotta come back here and spend another 10 minutes. You know, to make sure to hide those SOE properly. You know, you know, make sure I stay a decent amount of time on the workbench before I save. And I have to uh, add an extra bed. I forgot one bed. I can use one of the invisible mats. I would be okay, I'd say. There. Now let's go back to where we were. Yes. We taught those raiders a lesson. We'll teach them again if they come back. Oh, where were we? Slocum Jones. Yep. Yeah, I've got the coffee drinking settler and you've got Clem as our chef. Maybe not the best decision. You've got some pre war money? <gasps> Come on! I could really use it for the slots. And we have our traders. The general store. We got a little plant section, yes. toy section, and that kind of mishmash of no other objects. I'm starting to think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. And that's it, guys. Oh yeah, I did these little things on the corner. Couple of vault tech security guys, one what here, the the one the other side, and yeah, kind of view from here. Yep. And that's it, guys. Oh yeah, the teacher. She should be sitting yeah. down now. Why blue? I mean, would a yellow jumpsuit really be that bad? Raiders thought we were easy pickings. 
Uh, I better get back and fix her. Get her sitting. They're so excited. I, I just finished um, a raider attack before I saved it here. Maybe I should have waited a few days so they could get it out of the system. So that's it, guys. That's the last build I did. The vault. Now let's get back to what we're doing. There's still a little bit to do on this. I've only been 16 hours on this so far. I know, I'll have to be closing this in shortly. Oh, what was I doing? A little pieces here on the side, wasn't it? Ah, yeah, here. I think we've only got five pieces to do. And that's everything, guys. Just these five pieces and I'll cover the roof. I want to see what it looks like. There's still a bit of trim to do on the outside. I might be able to do something later with the design, but we haven't got a lot of room. You know, sometimes a big is not that good. I'm going to have to remove our little... There are four more. Okay. Four more should do it. This will be a kind of different kind of build. You know, than the usual ones. A little bit more Spartan. I'll see if I can work the elevators in here after. But I just need to um, you know, get the main building up. And then I can see, you know, what I can do with it. Oh, this is where the synth machine will go. It looks smallish, but it takes about three stories to get it in properly. There, okay. That's our fixing. Now, we'll transfer these guys. And we'll get them all up here. Well, we're going to try to anyway. This is kind of in a red zone, so I'll have to double click all of these guys. Well, it's not much in the red zone, just a tiny bit. Uh, it's going to take a while to move them as well, isn't it? Like this. Yeah, let's see if we can make use of these guys. Oh, I see. Uh, I could probably use something else, but, you know, I think this would be the best one to use. Um, that's not really, yeah, yeah, it will be too different. I need to keep a, you know, pretty bright interior. Like 
get as much of the roof done as possible. This is going to be a bit time consuming. be able to open up some kind of skylight I think probably as well oh hi Freeside and thanks for the raid appreciate it and welcome raiders and hi Dystopia hi Freeside and how have you guys been and what were you up to and what were you streaming hello Dystopia so this is what we're doing here it will be a kind of um, kind of sent staging post, you know, for the eventual takeover of the Commonwealth. You know, we've got this kind of synth manufacturing machine here. I'll be moving in here a little later. Probably a ton of equipment and, you know, the settlers dressed in synth uniforms here. And then I might line up a ton of them here, like a kind of um, stormtrooper battalion, you know, that kind of thing. Something like that might work. And then obviously there's a lot of decorating on this one. But there's no way to get in a really good build here. And then the weather is miserable here, isn't it? Oh, pretty good, nice. I was just doing some quests after the story. Oh, nice, in, in Fallout 4. Cool. Building raider settlements mostly. Nice. We finished one um, a few days ago. Well, we finished the vault. Mm. Yeah, it's coming along, but it still needs a lot of decoration. And this will be pretty Spartan dystopia, let's say, compared to the stuff, let's say, I did in the vault. And um, there's another settlement I did here as well. Um, you might not have seen. Um, Yeah, that was the last one. Uh, spectacle, we go out to find Starlight, County Crossing, mostly the home plate. Yeah, have you guys seen home plate? And thanks for following uh, Dystopia, and welcome. Welcome to the community. Home plate, uh, well, you know what home plate is like. Um, you're not allowed to use a lot of uh, stuff in vanilla. Um, and I don't have any ro more room for mods on Xbox. But it allowed me to use SOE. So we made home plate a kind of, you know, player home. Uh, pretty practical one. You know, hold your bobbleheads, uh, magazines, and that kind of thing. So we did, um, we did a player home uh, at home plate. So I'll show you where we are. Okay, there's somebody's alarm. Don't do this. Please. There, I got it. Yeah, that was just an alarm. We just stopped that one. There. That's perfect. So, yeah, we're here in Diamond City. Yeah. I just timed it good. You know, your second visit, you'll see this. So, I just came here and built, and obviously now when I come out, it's our second visit. So, let's go inside. Yeah, the alarm. I usually set it for around this time to remind me how long I've been streaming. Uh, sometimes I get kind of carried away. So here we have our workbench. And I had to improvise a lot here. There was about 
95%, I'd say of my menu, well, 90% of my menu missing. We've got a little clothing section here, Hancock, Piper and McCready. And of course a little clothing area. So this is, well, this is our main kind of display area here. No problem dystopia. Work time. Ah. So here we have our magazines. Here are our little unique weapons. And of course our bobbleheads. We've got some water here and I just made this up just to fill the the area. So that's our display area. Hmm. Barely touched Fallout 4 mods. There's some good ones. Um, I would recommend, let's say, keeping away from the kind of clean-up ones. The ones that do too much. You know, go for the ones that give you more pieces to build with. It's much more fun, you know. You know, to give you nice clean walls instead of the dirty concrete ones and more decorating items. Stuff like that. So this is our kitchen. And this is our cat, kitty cat. That's from USO. So our little kitchen area we've got meds, fire extinguisher for obviously for that. Alcohol, of course, and this is our kind of recreational area. They are, they really make the game playable again. Vault, you know, once you've it's very easy to get burnt out. Vanilla building here, we have a little library uh, or fireplace. These I've done myself, that's the original fireplace from the game. And what I've done is I've reversed some cabinets and just, you know, slotted them in to, to kind of patch them together. Pretty much the same there. This is our little um, home entertainment system. Aha. Yeah, we've got it soft here. And, well, obviously that's right out to Diamond City again. This is our bedroom. It's pretty snug, but we've got everything we want. You know, air conditioning, storage, alarm clock, uh, even some boots. The wall poster, you know, place to wash up, night coat. And, of course, we can watch our TV in bed. Our security system. So that's our recreational area here. But we've got a ton of work, um, a ton of storage and all our work stuff upstairs. You know, our um, chem bench, work bench, weapon bench, that kind of thing. The original stairs is still here. I've covered it up with this junk. Of course, more magazine storage and ton more storage here and here. And this is from Creative Clutter. This is our chemistry station. I just glitched them on that. Weapons workbench, an armor workbench, and these are all functional. And that's all of the stuff we need in such a small area. I didn't have a stair, so I used some floor pieces and wardrobes for this one. You know, they don't show up on my menu here. Some more storage and... Yeah. This is quite good for me, so it shows in-game time, so that's quite handy as well. Over 2 and 50, I'm still hunting for either new or more resource additions. So. New nature plants, I would love more of those. The only plants I get 
are from SOE and USO. The only three building mods I have would be USO, SOE and Snappy House Kit. And then there's a ground one, a really old one called Grounded. Yeah. I wouldn't mind some more room. Yeah. Oh, you do. Every time you add one. Yeah. You, d you take a big risk. And we kept uh, the hatch, obviously. Here. Which brings us out to Diamond City again. But I love this scent argument. I tend to stop this argument. I think they're all sense. Tell me who hasn't shot up Diamond City. But uh, I'm in God mode and then I just do a reload. I wouldn't actually kill them all. I'm not that heartless. <laughs> Even though I've often felt like doing it. You know, enjoying bugs and that. So that's it, guys. That's um, home plate. Uh, it's nice and snug. We used, well, by doing it this way, we probably wasted about 20% of the room. But by sectioning it like this, it actually looks bigger, to be honest. You know, you think there's a lot more room, it's just an illusion. And the only mod that would let me use here is SOE and a few decorating mods. So I made the best of it. None of these pieces snapped together. They're all placed by hand. That's the downside of this one. You've got to place everything by hand. No snapping whatsoever. There are a few potted. Yeah, I found new workshop pipes. Oh, nice. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> On the stairs. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. I'll go into build mode. I'll show you what I've done here. The same ugly places down here. But what I've done is I've hidden it behind all of this junk. And this is okay because, you know, I can just load up again and everything is perfect. Now this is a horrible little place to do anything with. You see how patched these are literally patched. You see how I had to contend with two angles from here to keep the carpet straight here would may would be literally a mile off so I blocked this in and carried on straight from here, you know, keeping the line on the carpet. And again, these are, um, stair pieces. Of course these guys. I can see that ugly place coming back, you see? Glitched. No snaps. You see where I've used these as well? So we wasted a good bit of room, but we needed to. And then, of course, uh, 
This guy here, there's the old stairs. And there's these guys. You see they're just some shoving. And these again, you know, just some furniture. That's you know, the old original guy. Again, it is you guys turn the other side. And that's the original fuse box. <laughs> I had no choice. These were the right height. So it's still the same old ugly settlement. And these, these are bases from SOE for, you know, kind of loading bear bases. I just made a kind of round stair system from it. Here you can see they're just patched. And that's it guys. That's what we've done on this one. Let me load that up. I wish more builders did those. <laughs> yeah, all placed by hand, piece by piece. There's no way you're going to snap them together in their vault. Mm. Yeah, every single piece hand placed. <laughs> it would be nice if you could just fit them all in big chunks, but no. Every tiny piece, you know, placed by hand. Of course, place anywhere it makes it. A lot easier. Impossible, I would say, in vanilla to get this detail in. You know, even using vanilla stuff. You know, getting it to lie. Although I did once, to be honest, I suffered. I did really suffer on that one. And the buildings, I don't, I don't get rid of those ones either. Um, I'll show one more before I go, guys. Yeah, different kind of build. Oh, uh, let me see. I think you've seen most of them, Vault. Um, You've seen the outpost vault, haven't you? And that's a large radio TV um, station. Uh, you know, it's got all of the cafeterias, bedrooms. And it's got a little manufacturing plant. Beneath. Oh, you've seen that one. Um, you've seen Spectacle Island, and Nuka World, and Ten Points. Oh, I didn't show you Ten Pines, did I? Yeah, that's kind of like um, like a spa, you know, kind of health resort kind of thing. Hmm. I don't think I, sh I showed you Ten Pines. Hmm. Yeah. That one there. Maybe I did. You remember that one? It has um, uh, a sauna. You didn't see that one? Large bar sauna. Uh. Oh, nice. Great garden. It's a nice build. Okay, I'll show you... Um, I'll show you ten points, just in case I didn't. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was probably someone else then. Alright, this is um, ten points. Not an easy place to build. Yeah, 
Yeah, bring the dogs. Yeah. Now, this is what we've done here. So we made a kind of um, kind of health resort kind of thing. But here I've let uh, settlers free roam a bit more. See how they interact with stuff. Maybe not the best idea. sign here. I'd usually put up a tag, let's say, for you know some of my friends and, and the main one is here. We called it Ten Pines Villa. I don't know, it just seemed like a kind of villa. So inside So this is our entrance. bedrooms and stuff. And of course the old original guys that come here. That's one of them. I like the gardens here. Those are single flowers fault. They have to be put there one by one. <laughs> Desperate, isn't it? There's the roses she were talking about. I ditched them a little better into that one. I used them a lot in Grey Garden. Oh, and this guy, what's his name? Lucas Miller. So, as we go in Make here... Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. You know, we've got our slot machines, our you gotta take one settlers. We use some of the Nuka-Cola stuff. Uh, we did a pretty large bar as well. Oh, this is just a walkway that goes all the way around the settlement kind of thing. I find you over there, I want to go with... Uh, uh, nice! 444, four, four, but also I was looking back in YouTube. <coughs> I rewatched some hellos, gorgeous, but unfinished Fault Masterpiece video. Nice! you got to see it if you haven't. Oh! But they encountered the usual Fault issues, yeah. Transform space, yeah. Probably all the stuff from PC, yeah. They're always going to get those issues. Yeah, you see, I don't have a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Excuse me, I couldn't resist that. <laughs> oh, hi, Bamboozle. I hope you've been well. So, this stuff here. Now, this I thought was funny. I put a Robco sign. And this. <laughs> you know, those old, you know, turn of the century in 1800s saloons. You get that piano player. I knew I had him and I seen the piano and I said this is exactly what I need. So it's a Rob Core version. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So yeah just like that here. Now we did a bit down here but I did build a sauna using the cryo smoke from uh, SOE, some shelving and some tables. 
some rocks and the lava stuff from SOE as well and a few things. Yeah, it's not too bad. This is the bedroom. Here. <laughs> yeah, and that's the one. So this is a sauna. So it's not too bad you know, considering this junk that I had. This is our little sauna. So this is just some shelving, some tables, a couple of lights, and the cryo smoke. You know, the large uh, kind of flower thing from a snappy house. Some of uh, these rocks, a torch. I got really lucky, and I found a bucket with a wooden spoon. <laughs> so I was happy when I found that one. And that's a sauna. Now we go out here. And we go into our kind of water garden. Again, I use lots of flowers on this one. He's supposed to be sweeping up here. He's taking a break. Really. And this comes around as well. You know, another walkway coming from there. That's our water garden. Now, as we go up. And that's just a usual trick for to, you know, turn around a picture frame kind of thing. Mm. I think so, yeah. I had that guy sweeping up. Now, this is our way out and up. And up here we have our main gymnasium and the heated pool. Again, this just goes around in a kind of walkway and then inside here I've got something like this yes I use the cry of smoke on this as well but it's kind of hard to see in this settlement. Hmm. I did terrible things in the tutorial, especially to Linda Carter. Yeah, uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's right, she does the voice for uh, Magnolia. She also did um, Female Orcs in Oblivion, didn't she? And I think some in, in Skyrim. But I'm nearly sure her hobby is um, the CEO of Xenomax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and this is our, um, our gymnasium kind of thing. And I just have, you know, this thing out here. I'll even put some red light, oh, some green lighting on that. Let's see this thing at night. Oh my. No, I can't actually wait on that. That's strange. Hmm. Oh, former. Oh, he's passed, really. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I remember Linda from Wonder Woman. If I'm not mistaken, uh, she had a history in um, modelling uh, Miss America stuff, wasn't it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah, let's see if we can sit for a while. We 
Let's see what it looks like at night. I think I've got a chair here. Somewhere. Ah, I have. Oh, really? Ah. I can just about remember, I think, from... I think it was the very early 80s or late 70s she did that Wonder Woman thing. Yeah. Well, there's one thing about here. The script is pretty healthy, so I'm not too bad. We can't get higher. Oh, there you go, guys. That is our Ten Pines Villa. Let's get up here. Let's see what it looks like from a distance. I've never seen what the rendering is like in this cell. Hmm, had those awesomely yellowed pictures of me dressed. Really? <laughs> ah, that's so cute. Yeah. In the 70s, yeah. That's right. Yeah, she did. I noticed her on that one. She did a cameo. That's a pity there's so much junk in the way. There you go, guys. Let's see. Here is probably better. Come on. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad shot of, um... Yeah, that would work. And that's it, guys. Ten pints. Mm. Eighty-four. Oh, my. <coughs> it just strolled in. Literally. <laughs> that meant business. Ah, I can remember 84. That was the last time I seen a decent snowfall. 1984. Entertainment Classics, nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, we're none too friendly. <laughs> Down boy. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's, um... Let me load this one up. When we get back to our original, I'll have to load this twice. But I've done six hours. Unbelievable. To be honest, I thought I'd only kind of crawl to four. But I managed to do it. I got six hours. I'm quite happy with that one. Let me load again so I'll make sure I don't pick up any more bugs. Yeah, okay. I think I'll leave it here, guys. We've got a good bit done. At least we got a design in mind. And, as usual, I'll do a little bit more on this if I have time. You know? And see if I can, you know, do the, the nasty stuff that I wouldn't really like to do when I'm streaming. Like, you know, going endlessly through my menus to see if I can get a better railings or something for that. <laughs> the usual stuff. <laughs> I do a lot of closet building. <laughs> yeah, so what I'll do is... Um, I'll fire up my iPhone and we'll see if any of our friends are streaming and we'll... Yeah, we'll stop by and we'll say hi. And I think it's coming up to 40 hours plus and I still... I'm running on probably less than two hours sleep, so... I think shortly I should catch up on some... Should I? Definitely. Yeah, I did a good bit, yeah. Oh. I've got the idea in the past two days. You've got a solid... Yeah, a solid structure. A plan. I'll do probably windows and stuff later and the lighting. And see how it shows up. 
definitely get in that manufacturing thing and this will be spartan compared to the rest you know, you've just got two large rooms really to deal with I might be able to do something small outside in the little cabins maybe but that would be it just for ammo and stuff mm. and thanks for stopping by and have a good one um, Mert and hi um, HSN SJZ <laughs> And how have you been? Ah, looks like Russian. I'm sorry, I just speak English and badly at that. So, yeah, what I'll do is, yeah, we'll see who's streaming. So, I will be back tomorrow. We'll be doing a little bit of Witcher. And then, of course, back to Fallout 4 the day after again. You know, I don't think there's too, there's too many streams left on Witcher. And then we'll find another game. So, goodbye, um, HS, you don't mind if I call you HS, thanks for stopping by and saying hi, and of course, Vault and Hufflepuff, uh, Tigger, Terry, and Granny Vats, take care ladies, have a good one, also, um, Mert, um, Young, uh, Jake, Court, um, take care guys and thanks for stopping by um, also bamboozle have a good one and thanks for the follows and raids tonight guys appreciate it yo I really need some bolt my eyes have been stinging all day you know that kind of lack of sleep and we'll get to the stage if I get too overtired I'll probably just drift off <laughs> into some kind of coma um, and of course Freeside, thanks for stopping by and rating, appreciate it. And I think we mentioned Cord, we did. And of course Dystopia, thanks for stopping by and following. Oh definitely. You need a day, I do, at one of my own settlements. I probably do. I need a, I need a year there to be honest. I can't remember the last time I had a vacation. And thanks for following um, Dystopia and Freeside. Um, and Soup, yeah, thanks for stopping by Soup. And of course uh, Alpha Iron Man, thanks for stopping by and raiding. And who else have we got? And Xander. Yeah, have a good one, Xander. And Jill. Oh my god. I almost forgot you, Jill. <laughs> have a good one, Jill. And thanks for hanging out. Uh, let me see. That's everyone I can see here, guys. I've obviously missed some, so if I did, my apologies. And to everyone who was watching and looking. I appreciate the support, guys. 10 pints, yeah. So, yeah, back tomorrow with some Witcher and then back here again for Fallout. And I'm waiting for another game to be released very, very shortly on um, on Xbox. And I think I'll be giving that a good bit of my time as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So, again, guys, I hope each and every one of you has a great day. So, let's see who's um, streaming. And I'll stay on this channel as long as I can. I'll probably doze off quite quickly. Right.